and we hey, on. Yeah, we on. So, yeah, what about that auction last night, huh? Yeah, that's, that's pretty wild. Going, to, going back to back with auctions, you know. I um, I thought I won three of them, but I come to find out that the um, the third, the last one that I thought I won, they didn't um, they put somebody else's winning. So, oh, did they? I thought you won three too. Which was the last one again? The last one was Bearded Coast. Maybe it was. Uh, maybe you were after the line, the dots. No, I was. I was before the line. Even Joe said that. Hey, they they just got the high. You know. Them. I thought you won too because they did that a few times. I think they didn't see who won, and they were calling you know, like Mo that one time. Mo won because he was just before the dots at the last bid, and they were saying the other guy won. Everyone was like, "No, no, it's Mo, it's Mo, it's Mo." And then, uh, you know, I remember that. I thought they gave it to you. Hey, Donald, what's up, man? Thank you yeah. for stopping. Yeah, hey, buddy. Yeah, I thought they gave that to you. Well, no, uh, I had a note from Ken saying that. Uh, they they didn't have me down for that one, but so I uh, go back and watch it again and see, you know, make sure if you want it, you you know, you should get it. Like, plain and simple. Well, man, that's all right. I I end up I mean, unless I end up, you don't mind, yeah. Well, I end up getting it anyway because I I I I, I uh, DM Scott saying what happened, and he reached out to Ken saying if if I still want to pay the money, that uh, he'll go ahead and do, uh, honor that too. Oh, he'll give you one too then. So uh, so I so I so I sent Ken back the money because Ken refunded me that that money for for that one. So I sent Ken back the money. Cool, that's cool though, man. These owners are awesome, man. They yeah. really are. Yeah, Scott Scott's a pretty awesome guy. Hey, West Texas Beard Crew, what's up, man? I don't know if that's Jeremy or Matt, but what's up, guy? <laughs> or both of you? It could be both of you for all I know. <laughs> what's going on, guys? Thanks for stopping in, man. So. uh I, I I won. What else did you win? Oh, what you got wound up getting? Yeah, the first one was like a th uh, three M companies in one. Yeah, that was a good one. I have to go back to my email because I because Ken was taking care of things, so I let him know what I wanted. Yeah, the first one was, was Turn Turnbull uh, for like an oil butter bomb hat combo. Nice. And the other, then, then the the second part of that was bearded pup, uh, oil bomb, and the last one was, uh, oh no, the, the first part of that was also, also the first wing was also Long Island for two two oils, nice. And, and the bearded outlaw, and the second winning was bearded pup, and of course the third one was the bearded coast. But nice, yeah, you did all right, man. What did you wind up spending all together? Not too much, right? A couple oh, hundred. Right. Well, yeah, it's 70, 70, that's 140, 140, then 50, so that's 190. Yeah, well, not not too bad. You got a lot of good stuff. Yeah. So I mean, you know, I'd like to try that tur Turnbull too, man. I was going to bid, I did bid once on the uh, one that Joe got. I uh, forgot the name of the company. Um, but I, I bid like 50 bucks or something because someone had, bid 40 something so i bid 51 i think it was and then joe jumps in with 75 and i'm like oh, i'm out <laughs> you know yeah. but then i just decided to look in my bank and i seen okay i got i could take this much from my checking i can take this much from my savings so i can probably do up to 150 if i want to get something i'm gonna have to fucking spend you know yeah is this uh 20 30 dollars shit ain't cutting it tonight <laughs> everyone's just you know everyone's just bidding the, i think bidding it up purposely to get more money you know and i don't see anything wrong with that when you're trying to raise money for people you know yeah for a good cause and you know exactly kid, kid went live on instagram while going he's saying that people even though people won they actually sent more money in so yeah i believe it i believe that man so i seen that copper john was one and i was like yeah i'm getting that <laughs> nice hundred dollar gift card you know and uh the butter was an eight ounce butter too yeah, it was body butter. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, your body butter, beard butter, when these guys make this stuff, it's all the same stuff. Shea <laughs> butter. And, you know, their oils they use, you know, it's it's the same as beard butter. You know, yeah. it's all natural. You can use it in your beard, too. So it's a, it's a, but a nice big eight ounce size. And then a soap, you know, unreleased. That was awesome, man. I was like, I got to have that. <laughs> right. 
So, yeah, I was lucky enough to grab that one. But, uh, oh, hold on, I'll be back. My video. Hey, hold on. Daniel, thanks for stopping in, brother. Yeah, I don't usually see you too much during the day, unless it's lunchtime. Well, it is lunchtime, but you said you were home today, I think. Cool. What happened to your uh, video? Um, so, you know, the connection on my, my uh, to my camera is, is very touchy, so if, if I even hit the cable, it knocks it out. <laughs> mm, yeah. I don't know I, why. I got to invest in a camera, man. I want to get a decent camera if I'm going to do this stuff. And I've made up my mind I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do my – I'm going to do reviews with what I have for now until, yeah. I, until I feel I'm good enough to start accepting stuff from companies, you know, if they want to give me a discount code, I'll take it. I prefer that than free stuff. But, you know, I feel if I get to the point where I think I, I'm good enough, I can, I would do a review for products, but only when I feel I'm adequate enough to do that. And I don't feel that like I am now. Yeah. Uh, Daniel, I, I turned about an inch off not too long ago and I use a, I got a Canon M50. Yeah, it's a nice camera. It's got a nice picture. And uh, what did it cost you again, Dagan, if you don't mind? Oh, I really don't remember. <laughs> 500? No? Yeah, at least that. I think it's a little oh. more than that. But Yes, those things ain't cheap, man. I wonder if you can get like a decent one and stay under like five, 500 or 400. You know, like staying under that and get a pretty decent one. Like I, I can't afford a thousand dollar camera, you know. Even on a good day, and if I save for it, I can't, you know. Yeah, no, I, I got a new new hat. We're selling selling at work. It's like uh, I don't know who this is. Kang Kango. Kango. Yeah, Kangle. but well, you know, in, in our stores, if with people returning merchandise, if if we don't sell it in that particular store, yeah, uh, we 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 sell it at a discount. Cause we have like these stickers we put on it for like 50 percent off stickers so this, this is the return the customer did but we don't sell we don't sell this one in our store i mean we sell it we sell it at the, for the company but not in our store right so, uh, so i got 50 percent off so it's like that's a good deal <laughs> yeah it is a good deal it's a nice hat it looks good on you yeah right daniel his beard does look really healthy don't it yeah thanks daniel yeah the beard ornaments came came with my purchase from uh, fable Oh, there you go, Daniel. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that, man. Thank you for that awesome info, man. Yeah, I could probably swing that, man. You know, if I put it on a credit card and pay it off, the three ninety nine, I could probably swing that. Yeah, then, yeah, that's true. You can always go for refurbish. I got, I got mine on Amazon. Yeah. I got, I got, I got the, I got a kit though. You know, it came with the camera, the the stock lens, a tripod. <laughs> And a microphone, although I don't use a microphone because it sucks. But but you bought one anyway, didn't you? You picked up another one? Yeah, I picked up another one. I picked up a different one. I got this one right here. Yeah, you only what you only use that one for lives, right? No, well, no, I use it for my videos too, but I just keep it out, I just keep it out of frame. Oh, are you using it right now? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, it sounds nice and clear. It's loud too. I mean, I, I can turn the see if I turn I turn the gain all the way up, or it's got a gain where I can turn the gain all the way down. You probably don't probably don't hear me as much now no yeah you faded out so yeah i mean it's, it's got a gain on it so you can control it some too you ordered a z z zv1 huh i don't know what, nice, I don't know what yeah i don't know what that I, one is i hear that one's fucking the one they get right now it's sony z1 isn't that the one tyson uses yeah i don't know but this this canon 50 you know it says it's good done, done me pretty good that's what you have too right all right yeah i have a canon m50 yeah and what kind of camera is that what's a cat ca that's the same one you have the m50 right for a furbished canon m50 because you've got a great picture you really do man it's really nice i mean look how washed out i look compared to you well, plus I know I use I use a uh, program called uh, Spark Spark Sparkle Cam. Mm -hmm. 
and 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 in that program i can i can change the uh the colors and things like that nice man man i can see i can, I can like change things up hey lime what's up man what's going on brother and uh is she, seeing seeing your back this morning in your uh ig live oh man that big nice. big scrape on the, your back is huge looks painful man i hope you're feeling all right i know at least at least he's alive and well I mean, thank god right thank god nowadays with these lunatics on the road man you know you're lucky you're lucky when you survive something on, uh, on a bike not safe out there no more i know i've, I've had two motorcycles in the past and i i, I want to get another one someday but <laughs> my, yeah. I, my other half doesn't want me to so <laughs> I'd like one, but with uh, with my joints and with this rheumatoid arthritis, I don't think you can hold it up or can handle it anymore. I really don't. I'm alive. I'm good. I hear you, brother. Thank God you're alive. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I got some uh, beard mail. Did you have any or no? No, I don't. I don't have you. I don't got you more since the, that last one we did. Okay. You have more coming. Yes. <laughs> oh, not just what you won last night. Yeah, well, no, I got I got more coming besides that. No, oh, okay, cool. All right, this one we got is uh, first one we got is Weatherbeard. This one I actually didn't win. This one, uh, Vato won, and he paid it forward to me. So that was pretty awesome of him. That's cool. Yep. Then I won on Seth's stream. <laughs> a chronic oil of choice and so i didn't know he had tried chronic so i sent paid it forward to him you know <laughs> and uh he tried it already so he said ron man anthony's new to the community and he hasn't uh he hasn't tried chronic yet would you be uh would you be upset if i forwarded it to him i was like no not at all brother go ahead man i gave it to you you can do what you want with it one and two i think that's a great idea so you know, so he paid it forward to Anthony. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, this knife is not sharp at all. Well, wh while you're opening that, ha have, have you tried the bearded coast, Ron? Uh, yes, I have. Mm -hmm. I have uh, salty vibes. I like them. Nice butter, real creamy. So if, if you had to pick, if you, if you were to get another scent from from bearded coast what would you get uh i don't i don't know i don't remember really the names of them uh there's uh the one i was interested in i think was that was something dark dark one right what was that uh dark and stormy maybe dark and stormy is yeah. that it yeah i don't know what one was that scent Cause there was a few cents that I kind of thought yeah, were cool. Dark, yeah, it's called Dark and Stormy. Yeah, what was that? What was that profile? Do you remember? You don't remember? <laughs> no, I look it up. But, yeah, we got a, a beard wash. And what did I get? I thought I got. Oh, he sent me. Oh, this is not the same as the uh, the wash. Ain't the same as the scents as the oils and butter. No, right? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so, because he sent me a citrus and mint uh, wash. So, I like that minty, fresh feeling, though. And I thought I got the uh, ch choke cherry or something, smoked cherry or whatever it's called. Smoked cherry wood, that's what it's called. Yeah, I got the smoked uh, cherry wood. All right. I was going to get this one or the uh, other one. What was the other one? Uh, the scent. The scent. The, the sandalwood vanilla one, I think. I forgot the name of it. And I, I asked uh, Corey, which one did he think was, uh, which one I should go with, this one or the uh, other one? He said, he said I'd go with the cherrywood one. I said, okay, that's the one then. <laughs> and uh, I got the uh, beard butter. Yeah, I, I like, I like the, the the one that has amber. I like that scent. Yeah, I love I love that one, the sandalwood and amber. What was the other one? Was it sandalwood and vanilla? No, it was something else in vanilla, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I something else. I'm hoping this one didn't melt, though. 
because the first time I got one, it melted, and it's never the same once it melts like that. I mean, you put it in the fridge and it hardens, but once that stuff all separates, it's never like the original whipped, you know, the way you got it. Yeah, this one's good. All right. This one didn't melt at all. Look. Nice and fluffy. I noticed that when these melt whipped butters melt, they don't seem to be the uh, same. Like they don't feel and work the same. You can't kind of get them, really get them back to what they were. You know, I mean, I guess unless you get out the whipper, whip, whipper, you know, a thing that whip them with or something. I don't know. Food, right. food processor or something. I don't know what he uses to whip it. <laughs> How the hell do you? God, I hate these plastic tops. All right. Well, <laughs> while you're taking that off, the, the, scent, the scent profile of and Stormy is uh, ginger beer, uh, then a dark and spicy rum. And finishes up with a, a light vanilla note. What is it again? It starts off with ginger beer, then a, then a dark spicy rum comes in, and then finishes with a light vanilla note. That's the dark and stormy one. Yeah. Huh, maybe I'm thinking of something else then. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, that doesn't sound like the one I was talking of, thinking of though. It sounds okay, guys. Not big on the. Uh, Booze ones, but oh, this is nice. Yeah, I can smell the cherry. I don't smell a lot of smoke in the bottle, though. Doesn't mean it ain't there. I just don't smell too good in the bottle somehow. I'll put a little on my hands here. Yeah, let me get a little more. I don't know. My nose ain't working too good today, huh? <laughs> I can smell some cherry in there, but that's about it right now for some reason. I like oh. it too, from what I can smell. It smells nice. I don't know. What about the tandy? I think you like tandy dreams. What's that one again? Sorry, I don't mean to make you keep looking things up, man. I just don't remember what it is. No, no, it's all right. I want to get the right profile. Yeah, this is nice. It smells nice. I like these cherry, cherry, cherry uh, scents. So it's a, it's like a cherry uh, pipe tobacco one, right? Well, like well, you get a lot of cherry, you say. So, I mean, a lot of tobacco is not not really heavy i'm fine oh this smells really nice this mint and uh this mint citrus watch i get a lot of mint i love a minty wash because it like makes your skin tingle you know and uh it's good for me with my dry skin with the ra Ooh, what do we got here hey uh, hey tyson no i i got these ornaments from the uh my last shipment from uh fable Forgot about these. You got a nice card. Yeah. And uh, got a oh, another uh, business card. Yeah, this way. This way. <laughs> and the other side. Yep. All right. Very nice. Thanks, Glory. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, too, Votto, for paying it forward, man. Appreciate you, brother. So, yeah, I got a, a wash in uh, citrus and mint beard wash from Weatherbeard. And I got the uh, the oil and whip and smoked cherry wood. <clears throat> that Votto won on uh, Beard and Motivations live stream, Saturday Night Hype. And he paid it forward to me. So, that's yeah, what did I do with my knife? And I got another one here, guys. I got this one finally came. I'm so stoked. Got some Graham's, Graham's beard. Graham's beard. The CBD. All right. Well, while you're opening that up, uh, Tandy Dreams is tangerines and citrus, lavender with subtle notes of heater, uh, cedar and herbs. Hmm. That sounds nice. You, what do you think of it? I, I love it. You do have that one, right? You have I more, do. don't you? 
I got I got it all of them. <laughs> yeah, you got every one of them, huh? <laughs> yeah, that sounds nice. Good. Okay. I, 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 I'm, the reason why I'm asking you for a reason, Ron. Well, I know I figured you were asking me for some reason or other, but what, what's the reason you're asking? Because that 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 winning of Bearded Coast, I was going to forward it to you. Oh my God, no! That's so you don't have to forward that to me. Come on, man! It's a whole uh, a whole package deal. No, man. No, nah, you're you're the man, Ron. Huh? You're the man. Oh, thank you, man. You're the man too, but you don't have to do that, Dagan. Seriously, man. I just, want, I just want I just want to let him know what sent to send you. I don't know what to say, man. I just, uh, you know, I can't. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know. <laughs> uh, well, we got the uh, beard butter here. I got the uh, blur, bur, 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 Burberry scent. I think it's called Burberry. Burberry. Oh, yeah, I got that one too. Oh, you do. How do you like it? Uh, it smells like Burberry to me. You said that last time. I have no idea what Burberry smells like. I hope it's good. Well, I, well, I think it is. I mean, I, oh that, yeah, it smells nice. The butter does. But oh well, yeah, back when I uh, wore cologne, I, I I wore Burberry quite a bit. When you worked where? When when I, when I wore uh, cologne, oh. that's what I wore. Oh okay, yeah. It's a nice, uh, almost flowery scent. No. Florally scent, kind of sweet, florally kind of thing. I don't know how to describe it. I'm not very good at describing. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. Oh, what else we got here? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Thanks, Vato, and thanks, Brian, and uh, welcome in, Stephen. No, oh, we got a couple, uh, couple cool looking ass stickers. Look at that thing—a skull with a beard and a top hat. That is awesome, man. Love it. I got two of them too. Nice. That's awesome, man. I, yeah. like those. I really like those a lot. Very cool. I think that's all we got in there. Okay. But then we got the uh, oil. So yeah, four ounce butter. And we got oil came in a nice little sack, sack here. And it's a sriracha top. But it's a, it's a two ounce the two ounce oil, especially he was doing. Yeah. Did the two ounce oil and the four ounce butter. I think it was uh thirty six bucks shipped. I think it was. That's not bad, right? Yeah. Yeah, because the regular one ounce. I was looking at buying a regular one ounce oil and two ounce butter. A few weeks earlier, when when we just using a code, and it was like thirty two bucks. So yeah. to get two ounce and a four ounce butter for a few four dollars more, you know, ain't too shabby. Yeah, and Grant Graham has a the CBD in it. Yeah, have you used yours yet? No, but I'm I'm fixing to. <laughs> but I'm fixing to. Okay, cool. But, uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, you got so much uh, stuff you got to use so long when you're doing your uh, a review for it, you, you know. So yeah, I keep forgetting that. I don't know why I keep forgetting that, but I keep forgetting that you got to wear your stuff for a week and then, so you can't wear other stuff that comes in yet until you're done with your review. Yeah, you know, and actually, uh, Rodney Big Man Beard actually sent me a DM a while uh, actually yesterday. Talking mm. about grams, but I guess he he didn't know I already got some. But he's he in, in this message he mentions that it comes with 500 milligrams of CBD oil in all in all its products. Really? Yeah. So there's 500 milligrams of CBD in this two ounce oil, or is that per per is that per item or per ounce per ounce? I'm not sure. Well, he this way he says it's it's um. The products have 500 milligrams of CBD, CBD oil in all products. Plus, we have two ounce oils for 20, which with big man bearded. Well, anyway, yeah. Where is mine? Maybe the two ounces 500 and the single ounce is 250. 
I don't I'm, know. I don't know. But it's just, who knows? I thought Rodney had said 250 when he did his review. I'm not positive, though. I wouldn't swear to that. Hey, Brian, thanks for stopping in, man. Appreciate you. Yeah, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go back and look at that, see what he says. But Yeah, just doing an unboxing for those that came in, guys. I got some uh, Rams beard, two-ounce oil, four-ounce butter, and I got the... Uh, a weather beard oil and uh let's see which way this way <laughs> not used to this yet <laughs> this way here you go <laughs> don't worry anyway oil and butter and whip oil and whip and the uh smoked cherry wood scent and a wash too and the wash is in a, a citrus citrus and mint and a citrus and mint scent so but uh, <clears throat> your or ornaments look very nice in your beard, dude. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, uh, thanks, Stephen. Uh, speaking of which, Stephen, are are you when you do your uh, trim? Are you are you gonna do it live? That 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 that'd be fun. I think. Mm hmm. Maybe you do it with uh, Brian there. <clears throat> you know, Brian gives uh, you know advice and helps as you're trimming and stuff. Well, you know, well, Stephen uh, uh, told his wife he'd be cutting his beard back. So yeah, no, I, re I remember his video when he said it. Yeah, mm -hmm. after uh, after his birthday, I believe he said, right? Yeah, well, yeah, around the, around the first of the year, I think it was. Mm -hmm. You still chopping it off, uh, Stephen? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need to trim too, man. I need to trim this ends off here. They're like straggly and you know it's like a, a few of these hairs aren't don't even see, see it seems like just these uh this first two inches here or so seems like it's about two inches longer than the rest of the beard hairs at the bottom there you know what i mean yeah and i guess that's this under chin area that grew down first yeah if you just you know go go for it roger cream it up a little bit no oh god no. no i don't even have i don't even have a decent pair of scissors to do that with i do have a couple of decent clippers but they're my one clippers is old and worn out now and I the other it. one uh the other one's new but i haven't used it yet so i don't know how it works <laughs> yeah he's going to cut off about six to eight inches yeah you're gonna do it live mother-in-law is gonna cut my hair Trim my beard, probably six to eight inches. Yeah, you got to do it live, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I don't know if the mother-in-law would want to be on, be on the live. So. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Maybe she won't mind, though, either. Just, you know, focus it on, you know, in the camera right at Stephen's beard kind of thing, you know. So maybe you only just see her hands. Yeah. yeah. This way she don't have to really appear on if she don't want to. Just something to think about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. So uh, what about all this uh, men's health stuff, huh? I love talking about that. You know, it's really near and dear to my heart because I, I suffer from depression and, and anxiety. And, uh, you know, my family does. My siblings do. And, uh, you know, my sister right now is actually in the hospital and she tried to take her life. And, and uh you know, thank God she didn't succeed. Mm -hmm. You know, but uh, it's it's upsetting to see that she she attempted it. You know, because my sister was always a really tough girl, and no matter what kind of shit life threw at her, she always got back up and and moved forward. You know, but you know what? It seems like the last few years, and I think our biological parents and mental illness has a lot to do with this. She isolates, I isolate, you know, I shut people out. It's just naturally how, how I respond to things. You know, I, it's either I fight or I curl up and hide, you know? And uh, if I don't get mad about it, 
if I get mad about it, it's, you know, I sometimes I, I really lose it. I see red and I, you know, my temper and I, I go crazy. So I've learned to more as I've gotten older, I've learned to walk away to, to, to you know, shut down and not deal with it because the alternative isn't good for me or for anyone else. So, but, uh, you know, I tend to isolate and close down and I, I you know, I've last 20 years, I guess said day and i i pretty much uh kept to myself i stay in i only go out when i really need to and it's kind of it, it, it was real hard when i first started doing it because i was very popular when i was a young guy you know i really was, was popular in school i always had a lot of friends around me i had good close friends some of them i have since passed away and and uh you know, some of them I'm still in contact with, but they live, you know, up north or they live wherever they move to and and uh, just got in touch back in touch again with a good high school, a good friend from when I'm growing up, my buddy Todd. He's actually a, a professor over at uh, Lowell, English professor at Lowell, you know, and I look at him think now, thinking back how, how we were when we were teenagers, you know. And it's just amazing to me that he he's like, you know, where he is, that he's, you know, a professor, he's a doctor at, at, at Lowell and a teacher, you know, it's, and he's doing really well and he loves it. And, uh, mm. and if you would have asked me when we were 16, where he would have, where he would have been now, I probably would have told you either dead or in jail, you know? So it's kind of strange how life turns out, you know? Well, yeah, kind of, kind of like we were talking about before. You know, you can't, you can't let things bottle up. You know, you gotta have a little release sometimes because you know when you let things bottle up, it just builds up and builds up. Then you just have this big release, and that's just not good. You know. No, that's never good, and not, not at all. It usually winds up being really bad for you, especially if you do lash out and do something that you know you normally wouldn't do. You know, so. But I just found it easier after after dealing with a lot of shit in life. I found it's just easier to keep to myself than to put myself out there anymore. You know, you get, can only get fucked over and screwed and hurt and stomped on and stepped on and broken heart, heartbroken so many times before you say, I, you know, I've had enough, man. And people, people, you know, I don't want to deal with it no more. And that, that's where I pretty much got. Yeah, I've gotten to the point where... I may get mad about something for for a little bit, but then I just I just let it go and, and don't think about it anymore. You know, just just let it go. You know? Yeah, I've been able to do that too now. Am I now that I've gotten older and more mature? But I'm a very sensitive person, and sometimes I think it sucks because I take things to heart. You know, I take everything to heart. I really do. I take everything to heart, and I take it personally. And I try not to, but you know, you can't help the way you're wired either. You know, and and shit hurts when 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 people uh, stomp on your feelings. It hurts, you know, or when they when they screw you over and use you. It hurts. But uh, you know, like I said, I just tend to isolate now. You know, and I have a bad habit too of uh, not answering the phone. I know my friends for years. You know, Ron. Well, pick up the phone. Well, I don't want to be a burden. You're not a burden, man. We love you. We want to talk to you. We want to help you. You know, and, and I just, in my head, it's like, you know, oh, I don't want to bother nobody. I don't want to fucking bother. They got their own problems. You know, you know how, I, how that is, you know, you don't want to lay shit on people. So you just keep it to yourself and, 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 and that's not good to do. So I have to every now and then remind myself that, you know what, my friends do love me and, and they are there for me. And it's okay for me to call them or to pick up the phone when they call and, and tell them what's going on, you know? Like Timmy, in, uh, it was in uh, Beard Therapy the other night in the chat. Dear friend of mine since we're kids. I think we met when I was 13. And uh, well, we've been dear close friends since then. Man, I love the guy like a brother. And uh, he's been nothing but nothing but like a brother to me. Right. You know? So. Yeah. Uh, well, got, got a couple of people dropped in. You got Beard Man that came up in here. And you got Ron. So welcome in, guys. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, Ron, you, you know, you're always 
willing to, you know, you can always reach out to me and anybody in the chat can reach out to me. I, I, I'm, I'm a really great listener, you know. You but, are, Dan. You are. I'm, I'm kind of like Dan. You know, Dan mentioned in his live stream uh, the other day, talking about, you know, he, he hates reaching out to people because he didn't know if they want to be left alone or, or you know. Way. I, I'm kind of the same way. You know, I I don't want to bother people, but I, I know yeah. that, but if they need me, you know, I'm there for them. So. Exactly. I'm the same way too, Dagan. Same exact way, man. It goes double for me, guys. You know, if you ever need anything, need someone to talk to, an ear to listen, you know, no judgment here, man. No judgment. God knows I've had my share of, uh, you know, I've had my share of shit in life that I've done, you know, so I, I got no damn business judging anyone else for anything. So you won't get that from me, man. And, uh, but you know, I, I will listen and I, you know, if I, if I haven't gone through it myself already, you know, I sure as hell can uh, understand it at the, at the, at the least, you know, if I haven't uh, experienced it. Hey, boy. Know, uh, we have Ryan. Speaking of Iron Maiden, isn't, uh, who, who did Inagata de Vida? <laughs> that was uh, Iron Butterfly originally. Oh, it's Iron Butterfly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Isn't that like one of the longest instrumental songs? What's that? Isn't that one of the longest instrumental songs? I'm not sure. I know it's a long song, but I'm not sure. Do not retract. Make sure to reach out. We don't need to lose any more anyone. We don't need to suffer alone in silence. Hey Amen, Stephen. Yeah, yeah. That's the truth, brother. That is the absolute truth. Listen, to read this, guys. That's the truth right there, man. No no reason to suffer in silence and alone. There's just well, yeah. no reason for it. Well, you know, the problem the problem with that is you know, some you know, people think they're trying to be manly and you know, they feel like it's weak when they reach out, but it's not, you know. Reaching oh. out is 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 a really good thing to do. You know? Reaching out is is makes you, is is the hardest thing to do. Yes, yeah, so it that, makes you stronger in a man if you do it. Right? Yeah. That's the way I see it. Yeah, I, that's how I see it. I think I think it takes huge cojones to pick up the phone and tell somebody, "Hey, man, I need some help. I'm over here and I'm hurting. You know, help help me out over here." Yeah, that, that takes balls. You know, and, and laying there and not you know suffering alone is that's the easy thing to do. You know, the hard thing is getting help and asking someone to help you. Yeah. Definitely agree with, with that. Because I know I've been there. I've done it myself, you know. And, uh, you know, it is hard to reach out, especially when you have that mentality like, uh, you know, like, oh, I don't want to bother nobody. I, you know, people are busy. They have their own lives, you know. And that's exactly how I'm wired and how I think. I always think people got their own stuff going on. They don't need to be burdened with my stuff. And, you know, but there's a huge difference between, you know, reaching out to somebody to say, hey, man, can you come help me paint my house? And, uh, you know, I'm in trouble over here and I really need you to need you to be there for me. Those are two two completely different things and two completely different spectrums. And, you know, I've had to learn to separate them like that. You know, I'm not asking for someone to help cut my lawn or, you know, <laughs> fix my car with me. I'm asking for someone to, to help me because I'm depressed or because I'm having bad thoughts over here about doing something I may regret, you know? Right. And I don't know I, I, about you guys, but I, I think in, at some point in life, most people have, have those thoughts, you know? I don't, you know, some of us uh, act on them, some of us don't, but uh, I think at different points in your life, people all go through the same stuff, you know? It's similar stuff anyway. Yeah, see what Stephen just wrote. And I, yeah, I, I don't agree with that. There's too much uh, masculinity, toxic masculinity culture out there. You know, we, we got to break that down. Just... Yep. Yep. I'm so sick of the toxic masculinity culture and how how are we expected to be this stereotype? Yep, you're right, man. That's what we need to do. We need to break the stereotype, man. We need to break it, man. Deliberately, my broski, we need more people just like you who are willing to speak on it. 
Yeah, man, you got, you got it. We got to. That's the only way things are going to change is if people people come out and say, you know, hey, I've been there. I've gone through it. And, you know, we need to we, we need to make a change. You know, maybe if, maybe if my saying that, you know, I have depression and anxiety and I live with it and I've lived with it my whole life. And, you know, I've had thoughts of suicide. I have attempted suicide in my life. You know, I've tried to overdose with pills and God, you know, the whole gamut, you know, and thank God I wasn't successful in it. But, uh, you know, you get the depression, man. I, I don't even know how this depression. I wouldn't wish on anyone. I remember when I was 21 years old, I was so depressed. I had broken up with my fiance. And, and it felt like literally someone took a giant boulder and fucking threw it on my back. And I could not get this boulder off of me. It was just crushing me down. Every day I felt crushed further and further down, you know. And I just couldn't get it off. And on my 21st birthday, I put myself into Fair Oaks Hospital because I just couldn't take the depression anymore. It's pretty sad, though, man, when you, you know, put yourself in the hospital on your birthday, you know. But uh, I knew if I didn't get help that I, I was going to do something that would be permanent. So I, I chose to go get help. And it wasn't easy to do. It really wasn't. It was a really hard thing to do. But they called and they said, listen, you know, we have a bed today. You know, I needed a charity bed. I didn't have insurance at the time. So they said, we have a bed open right now if you want it, man. It's yours. And I was like, okay, I'm coming. And I went. And I thank God I did because, you know, I, even though I had a really shitty experience in there, which is a whole other story, but, you know, while I was in there, they put me on Prozac. And uh, that Prozac, the two weeks I was there and on it, knocked that depression out of me. It literally like took that uh, sledgehammer and smashed that boulder that was on me that I couldn't get off myself. And it, it crumbled it off enough that I could pick myself back up again and go. Wow. So, you know, it turned out to be, turned out to be a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. You know, cause I'm mean, sorry you had a bad experience, but that's, that's probably cause you know, it was a charity bed and not, you didn't have insurance, but that's, that's on them. But, you know, at least you got the help that you needed and you know, better better for it. Well, you know, is the meds, the meds too. You know, the uh, yeah. the, the meds they gave me were, uh, they were working for the depression, but the side effects of them were causing me a whole nother, whole nother schmeal. So, you know, well, you said, there's a story for another time. I don't want to get on all that right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's definitely, it's actually, you know, definitely good to let your feelings out sometimes, you know. If you, yep. if you bottle them up and just keep them bottled up, then, then you, you're risking the possibility of having even a breakdown or something like that. Yeah, or, I'm not one of them people. It's, uh, or doing something that you, you, you'll you regret later. Yeah, no, you don't want to do that, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm not one of them people that's uh, afraid to show emotion, you know, I'm just not. Like I said, I, I I wear my emotions on my sleeve, man. You know, I take everything to heart. So it's, yeah. uh, sometimes it's a blessing and sometimes it's a curse. It really is. Well, you know, know, yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a pretty sensitive guy myself. But, you know, when somebody first meets me, they they, they get the feeling that I'm, I'm mean and rude and all that. But. And until, until they get to know me, and once they get to know me, they realize I'm such you know I'm such a really nice guy. I'm, I'm just a sweet, gentle bear, you know. Yeah, I never got that though from you, man. I just figured you were like me, quiet and you know. And well, yeah, I'm a quiet guy. Until you get to know know you, you know, and then you people come out of their shell. That's what I figured. And that's what you were, you know. I mean, you reached we we reached out to each other and talked. We we hit it off though for some reason, Dag, and I don't know why. You and I just seem to click, man. Right. I've always felt t comfortable talking to you and, you know, it's like, I feel like I've known you, you know, my, my whole life or something. I don't know how to explain it. Oh well, yeah. You know, sometimes we just, people just click together. Uh, and speaking of which, uh, Bearded Banshee and uh, uh, Steven are heading out. So thanks God for coming in. Thanks guys. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for stopping in. Yes, absolutely. Ryan G. What's up, man? What's going on?
Thanks for stopping in, brother. So. Yeah, yeah. I actually had a few more ornaments that I got last year that I can probably put in. But yeah, your beard's big enough there. You could probably stick a few more in. <laughs> well, I plan to because I'm, I'm going to be on, uh, you know, Maverick's having a stream Saturday. Mm. And I'm, I'm going to be on it. So I'll nice. probably, I'll probably f you know, go find my other ornaments I have and stick them, all, stick them all up in there. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I seen... Uh, I seen that somebody said that they're going to have you on in uh, in 2021. Yeah, so I'm going to be on uh So awesome. Chris's channel in 2021. <laughs> Booyah. Awesome, man. Chris is great, man. I had a great time when I was on his uh on his channel the other night with Ken. Both great guys, man. Both uh really nice guys, man. Yeah, see see Vato says he, uh people get the same per uh, perception of him as uh, as I just talked about. Mm. Yep. Well, you know, I don't know how though, Vato. You're a real talkative guy, man. When we did that stream on Dagan's channel, you were, you know, right in with us, like you were, like you've been doing it forever. You know, like a lot of guys get on and they're just quiet and they sit over here to themselves and you know, you know, don't say very much unless they're asked something. Vato just right in like he was one of us, and he's like he's done it a million times. I thought that was cool, though. Well, yeah, but you know, this is a little different. You know, when it's when it's like out in public, you know, because this is the beer community. We we all kind of know each other. Well, it's kind of you know, so so to speak. Mm -hmm. but, you, but you know, when you go out in the public, you know, we we meet somebody new that you never met before. You know, it's, it's a little different. Yeah, that's true, man. You guys made me feel like family. You are family, yeah. but but that's what we're here for. We're all family, man. Well, welcome everybody in. Yep. Definitely, man. That's exactly how I felt when I got here, man. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 ma no matter what they look like, no matter the background. Yep. Well, you know, all, you know, no matter what. Yep. None of it. None of it. That's what I love, too, about this kid. None of that matters to anybody. You know? It's just, uh, you know, and... And it's like, yeah, the beard's all brought, brought 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 us all here, but it's not what keeps us here, and it's not what holds us together. You know, it's the brotherhood, and it's the camaraderie, and it's the friendships that we make, and the bonds that we make here. That that's what keeps us together, and that's what keeps us all coming back. Yep, exactly, exactly, Vado. Well, yeah, you can definitely tell that because you know. Like uh, like Ken was saying on his live on IG today, between between the uh, stream last night and and people just you know donating, they they raised almost like sixty five hundred dollars. So that's amazing. I love it. I love it, man. And and with all with all these uh, uh, streams and stuff for you know uh, trying to generate money for people, it's, it's been over like thirty thousand or so for for the year. Yeah, this community man has has just been awesome man it really has man and i i've seen i've been in a lot most of these uh auctions too that they've had i think the only one i i remember missing is uh joe's i miss joe's i didn't get a notification for it or something i didn't even know about it until like the next day after it was over and everyone was talking about it. i was like why didn't no one tell me about it <laughs> you know yeah but I probably had stuff to do that day. I was out at the doctor or something or the day before it, I didn't see any of the notifications or nothing and just forgot about it. So. Yeah, that definitely happens. Are you, are you talking about Joe, Joe, Barbado Joe or Joe Bearded Life? Bearded Life. Oh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I missed that one too. Yeah, I did. I missed that one. I don't know how I missed it, but I knew about it. I just didn't know what night it was. I didn't remember what night it was and, you know, I probably went to bed really early that night and forgot about it, you know, and uh, seen the next day that he had it. And I was like, oh, shoot, I missed it. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that when I miss stuff. But, you know, you can't always be in everything every time. So that's so true, especially, I, especially, I, with, especially with so much more popping up lately. Oh, God. Yeah. There's a ton of ton of ton of new stuff. And there's new people. There's new. New uh, people I see that don't have channels yet that are working on, you know, making their studios and they're going to be starting channels. I think I've seen like uh, on IG, Irish Kyle is going to be starting a channel. Um, 
what's his name? Uh, Rooted Skulls. He's just started his and has a couple videos out now. Um, I forgot one of the guys in our, our beard club, uh, too, is uh, making a channel, like building his studio now, and he's going to be starting his channel, too. Yep. He was talking about it. What's his name? The one that showed the picture with all the beard oils up on the wall and this big shelves he had. Yeah. Uh, uh, Vod- I can't think of his name right now. Yeah, I don't remember either. Vod- Vod- I got a question. Um, do, do you guys ever use mustache wax? Um, I, I don't think you have, Ron, have you? No, I, I don't. Although I, I the only mustache has that though. The only mustache wax I got was from Ferocious, but when I tried it, you know, the actual mustache part of my thing is like goes way really? out here. <laughs> you need to curl that shit up like this, <laughs> Dagan. Seriously, Man. you need to get that sar- sa- uh, what is it, sa- savory, savory Jack that Beard of Motivation uses. Comes yeah, in like I- a chapstick thing. Get that bad boy, man, and curl that sucker up. I know. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that shit. That <laughs> looks fucking awesome. Excuse my French, but that looks awesome. Oh. Yeah, so, so I, I, What's up, Healthy Beard? What's happening, brother? What uh, is going on, Jay Cruz? You the man, brother. I'm here to support Ryan. <laughs> David was talking smack on Instagram. I oh, sure. oh, shit. I, I sure was. I. I I guess I could talk a little smack too, Jay Cruz. <laughs> Dagan talking chips over here. <laughs> uh, Jay Cruz. Yeah. yeah, you know, because Kenny was doing a live on IG and I, I dropped out for a little bit. And I, when, I, when I came back in, you know, Jay Cruz was on the stream with him. I, I said, who, who is this guy with Ken on this on here? <laughs> yeah, Dagan would look like the Lorax. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right. N- never mind Dave. But Dave, man, when he doesn't uh, like, you know, do his little curl up at the end with his mustache, like he showed in his yeah. video the other day, he he when he brushes it just to the sides and it gets, it's like the ends are get like this thick. He literally looks like the like the Lorax's mustache, man. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's probably too. I probably need to cut it back some because it's just too long. No, don't cut it. Leave it, man. It looks cool. Just roll it up like this. Yeah. Li, what's up, brother? How you doing, man? Thanks if for I, stopping in. Yeah, if I can have it, if I can get to stick out like that, you know. Yeah. Wow. Huge. Yeah. Um, Li and Jay Cruz. I opened up a couple packages too, guys. I got uh some weather beard. Thanks to Vato, he won it. Paid it forward to me. I got the uh, smoked cherry wood, oil, and whip, beard whip, and uh, mm-hmm. also got a beard wash with citrus and mint. There we go. Hey, right, yeah, uh, Long Island. I was, I won some of that giveaway of yours on that stream last night. You didn't win, bro. You bought it. <laughs> well, yeah, I know I bought it. I totally bought it, but yeah. Oh, you did win the auction for it, but you won the bid for it, I guess, right? Yeah. Technically, you won the bid for it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I got some uh, grams, blur, blur, blurberry, burberry, burberry, burberry. It's uh, a two-ounce oil with a sriracha top and a four-ounce, big four-ounce butter. It smells really nice, man. Yeah, mm. no. Look Jay, at that. Jay, Jay, Cruz, Jay, Jay Cruz wants to know what I won. It already has a nipple, guys. See it? I don't even <laughs> have to put one on it. <laughs> it's already started one. I'd, I'd be kind of worried about that. <laughs> Who's been messing my butter? <laughs> no, no fingerprints in it. It's just the way I guess it was poured and then the lid put on. You know, it like poured and had the mound in the, where, where, you know, you pour it. And then the yeah. lid, the lid crushed it down flat to make it look like a nipple. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me go over my winning, uh, my bid winnings for uh, Jay Cruz. Okay. All right. The the, the first one I won was a uh, t- uh, Turnbull for uh, uh, oil, butter, bomb, and hat. And then uh, also with that first one was Long Island for two oils, and also. 
bearded outlaw with the oil and butter. My the second one I won was a bearded pup oil oil bomb. Then my third one was the bearded coast with the oil butter and comb. Awesomeness. Have you tried have you tried all of them or no? No. I nope. I the, the first two I've not I've I haven't had Okay. The, only I, the only one I've had is Bearded Coast. Bearded Coast, okay. Very good, man. Awesome. But, but, you know, I told you earlier, I'm sending that to you. I know. I don't even know what to say, man. Thank I, you. I, I, that, that's why I also asked you about what kind of comb you, you, you have. Yeah, I have the uh, eight I bought from uh, Beard Octane. And I have the seven coming to pick from Copper John's. Yeah. But uh, I want to get eventually to one of them. I want to try. I, I don't know if my beard's too big. I don't. I don't think it'd be too big for the six. Heard the six is good too. Yeah, but you said you said you wanted a, another eight. So but, yeah, most of all, I want a number another number eight to keep in the shower. So I have to take the one I got in and out every time. It's such a pain in the ass taking it in and out of the shower all the time, especially where I leave it in the shower. I leave it up on the windowsill there. So it's, it's just a pain in the ass to keep. And then I half the time, I, I, I forget it, too. You know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. I jump in the shower, and I left it on the sink, and I'm like, damn it. You know? <laughs> and again, I, I don't want to jump out and get it now because you get, get the floor all wet and make a mess, you know? Yeah, so, so, I, so I told Scott to send you the Tandy Dream combo and the number eight cone. Oh, man, awesome. Thank you, Dagan. You didn't have to do that, man. Seriously. No. You're a great guy, Ron. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to do it. Yeah, you're a great guy too, man. And I really do appreciate you, Dagan. Yeah, no problem. And Vato, no, I've not got the skateboard comb. It, it it does look pretty cool, but I just don't like the teeth the teeth on it. Yeah, I'm not crazy about the way they point like this. You know, they have that design like that kind of. Well, yeah, I, I don't. I mean, I like I like the looks of it, but yeah, it looks cool. cool. But I think your hairs would get stuck in this part up here. See what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, I don't. I don't if think you it push too far in, they get wedged in there and yank it out. I think no. Well, I just don't think it worked too good in in my beard or a longer yeah, beard. Or a long beard. Yeah, I thought the same thing, man. Maybe maybe a shorter beard, maybe, but not a longer beard. Yeah, yep. It's like especially one that's shorter and close to the face, kind of. Yeah. You know, because then the teeth wouldn't go in far enough, but. But once you get past your chin and you have a long beard, you push in too far. I could just literally see that that V there at the top of the teeth grabbing and yanking. You know, like I wish they had made it like uh, like rounded at the top, like to come up like and rounded it like that, mm -hmm. almost like where there's a U U shape there instead of a point. Bearded Vato, any new products this week? I know I, I got uh I don't remember what I still have coming. Well I'll show you the stuff I won, but I don't know what I did. I wrote I wrote down what I'm supposed to be getting here somewhere. But anyway, I know I got Mudcat whisk whiskers coming at some point. Oh, I gotta try them. I gotta try T3 too. There's a buzz about them and I'm dying to try them. What'd you get from uh bearded sons, Vado? What did what, what you win from them? What's that, Jay Cruz, you say? You're going to, um, even though everyone said you're free to and clear to not have to do push-ups for last night's bid and winning. Yeah. And, uh, then you said you're going to do them anyway. That's awesome of you, man. That <laughs> is so cool. Jay Cruz said he's going to do the push-ups anyway, guys. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. You're just, wow, man. You blow me away, Jay Cruz, with that energy and that go get them attitude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Ryan C. Yeah, with Devin from Beard Co. There you go, with Devin from yeah. Beard Co. Yeah. yeah, Devin said he'd do his, his push-ups for him. Who did? Devin said he'd do the push-ups for him. 
Oh, okay. Well, that's so cool, Devin. Devin's awesome, man. Yeah, y'all go subscribe to Devin if you haven't. He's cool, man. Beard Code, he's awesome. I love his, I love watching his reviews. I really do. He is so well spoken, man. And he's so like meticulous with his uh, reviews that, you know, like he films it to him. I think he probably goes overboard, you know, because he films, he said, if there's one little thing he thinks he did wrong, he'll redo the whole thing. And I feel bad for him with that now that I know how to, you know, now that I'm doing it, I kind of know what he means. And I feel bad though if he's, if any little mistake he wants to redo it, do it, because it's not easy. It's not. Well, no, I mean, I, I see, I, I'm not that way. If I have like a little tiny mistake, then I'll leave it in there. But if it's a big mistake, then then yes. Well, a big mistake, yeah. But I think he, Devin even takes out, like, he'll re refilm it if it's even a little mistake, because he's like a perfectionist. But his reviews are always so, always so, so uh, to the point. You know what I mean? He like gets everything in there he needs to get in there, and, and he's always so well spoken. And, and, and his vlogs too, man. I, I lo love to watch his vlogs too. It's like you get to know more about him, more about him personally. It's more personal than just doing a beard review, you know. I really well, enjoy. I, it. Yeah, I, mean, I enjoy watching his videos too. The only, the only thing. I don't like for it. His videos are too dark for me. I, I, I wish he'd make him a little, his, uh, you know, background a little bit brighter. It's not, no, not too dark. he's at school most of the time. No. Well, well, yeah, he's in his room, but it's even, I mean, just, even just a tad bit lighter, I think it'd be better. But. What do you mean on the adjustment on the cameras and some? Well, you know, but if you see it you know, yeah, around, sure. around him, it's kind of, it's kind of a, you know, a little darker. So, oh, you need to put more light on or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. A little, a, little, a little more brighter. Hmm. Well, if you hear that, Devin, maybe try uh, putting on a little, a little more light there, <laughs> so well, we, can, we can see you better. That's just me, though, you know. <laughs> well, you know, I don't really notice that stuff yet. And you know what? Now, when I next time I watch them, I'm going to look to note to notice it. You know, I tend to concentrate like on the person and what they're saying more. Right. But I'm sure as I, you know, because I'm starting to think about how my stuff looks and how the background looks for me. I'm thinking about maybe picking up one of them uh, green screen things or at least the material so I can hang it and, you know, do something. Because the background is just a dingy, dirty wall, wall color, you know, like this wall color. It's not even a nice wall color. We can't paint here. We're stuck with what the fuck they put on there. Right, yo, yeah, that's what happens in the, in the apartments. But. And, you know, I noticed, too, that anywhere I went to try and film, like, I don't have a straight, clean wall that's wide enough for me to, like, put a chair against and sit. I don't have a corner either that isn't, that, you know, everything's got stuff there that I can't use, a, find a spot to use. The one spot I did find I could use has, this, has a closet door there, and it has this ugly grate for the... Uh, air conditioning vent it's a big one like you know two by two and it looks ugly in the shot it really does so i don't want to film there right i understand that hey ryan i didn't sorry i didn't say hi what's up brother was well, you know it's like when when, when i first started when i first started my channel i was doing my reviews on the couch then I, then I switched over here to the corner, and uh, I, remember, I remember Tiki made comments that said he wished I stayed on the couch. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I, I liked it when you did it on the couch, too. That's where I'm doing mine, sitting on the couch right now. Because, like you said, I don't really have anywhere else. I tried to do it at the dining room table, but, you know, it, it didn't work well because of, uh, like, when I put the camera on the table there and I sat in the chair, it's like behind me is the uh, doorway into the kitchen. So you see a doorway and it's part of the fridge and it's just no good for the background, you know? But if I had a screen, I could put the screen in the doorway there or just hang it, you know, hang it, hang a, you know, whatever. Someone said you can grab a green colored sheet or something and use that for a green screen, you know, or some kind of material too you can buy. Instead of ordering a kit, you know, on Amazon. Yeah, a, a green sheet might work. Hey, Waltimus, thanks for dropping by. 
you know, and, and what, one of the reasons why I moved off the couch, you know, to, to the table here in the corner was because I got tired of setting my stuff up and had to take it down, you know, so I, you know, I had to set up for the video, take it down out the video. And I, I didn't want to do that. You know, I just wanted to leave, leave it there set up and I just get on it. Nice, Ryan. Awesome, man. Yeah. Enjoy those reviews. Got Angler's Code last week in oil and butter, and it's awesome. It is awesome. I really love it. I actually had it in beard yesterday. What do you got in beard today? What's, what's everybody having beard today? What did I put in today? <laughs> you always ask me that, and I always forget. <laughs> All right. Whoever's in, whoever's in the chat, what are y'all having beard today? I, I got nothing. <laughs> nothing, huh? Yeah. Hey, Optimus Prime. What's up, brother? Thanks for stopping in, man. Appreciate you. The nothing day because tomorrow I'm going to start testing out for my next video. Hmm. Do you do that a lot, Dagan? Do you skip a day when you're going to be starting a new product for testing for reviews? No, no not, not often. I mean, because I, I make sure I do a pine tar before I start testing. Yeah. Nice. Bay Area Oil, Mountain River from Copper Johns. Yeah, how do you like that one? Healthy. I haven't had. I haven't. I haven't had that one. Mountain River. I, I have the uh, last cast. I have uh, Angler's Code. I have Summer Sisters coming, and uh, oh yeah, and uh, yeah, that's it right now. Yeah, I got I got Mountain River, Summer Citrus, and the last cast. Last cast, yeah, I love the last cast too, man. I, I that was my favorite of Copper Johns until I got Angler's Code, and yeah. now Angler's Code I think just beats out Last Cast by a smidgen, just by a smidgen, because I really like Angler's Code. That scent to me is just a, I don't know, man. It just works for me. It's just a really great scent. I think Devin and Tyson did a fantastic job on it. I really do. I yeah. do get more in the bottle. I do get more of the blood orange in the bottle. Well, you said when I put when I put it and get it in beard, it just mixes together really nice to give you like a nice cologne scent. Yeah, Ryan G. Last cast is awesome. Mm, it is. Yes, I love that one too. Though when I got that one, because I won, I won on a, a Instagram. When before Tyson even released the uh, last cast, I won a tester tester bottle of it, <clears throat> oil and butter combo. Actually, I won, and uh, it was so so awesome being new and newer in the community at the time. You know, then I just I you know I went, wind up winning a tester combo. It was so awesome, man. I felt like privileged, you know. <clears throat> oh yeah, speaking of Copper John, you know Tyson's got that new Buddy Butter coming out. Uh... I guess I'm, I'm assuming it's going to probably come out first of next year, but I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some of that and I'm going to have my other half do a review on it. Wait, say this again. That new body butter copper John's coming out with? Yes. I, I think it's going to come out you know, the first of the year, but I, I'm, I'm going to get some and I'll have my other half do a, a, a review on it. Yeah. <clears throat> my wife really liked Angler's Code. So I've worn it quite a bit over the last few days. <laughs> Can't blame me there, brother. <laughs> awesome, Ryan. Yeah, Tyson is an awesome dude. That's great, Ron. Tyson, yeah, Tyson's an amazing guy, man. Yeah. <clears throat> last night, <clears throat> I bid on a, <clears throat> after, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, sorry. <clears throat> after the official uh, auction was over, Tyson decided that, you know, he was going to be even more generous because he's an amazing guy. <clears throat> so he offered up a, a hundred dollar gift card, a uh, soap and a body butter in his, in a new unreleased scent. And uh, I was lucky enough to bid on it and win it. So I'm pretty stoked for that. Yep. Keeps me from getting so much flack from the wife for all the beard mail rolling in from Black Friday. I hear that, brother. I hear that, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, the beard bar is so much more than just for the beard, you know? 
Yeah, the body butter is an eight ounce too, man. Big one. So I can't wait to try this Graham's. I really can't. I think I'm going to try this next. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to start testing that out tomorrow. I know Vado was like, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, he paid this forward. He's like, yeah, you can do a review. I want to see a review on it. And I said, okay, I'll do a review on it. But I think that one's going to be next because I'm really, I'm really, really been dying to try this one, man. And I managed to let it sit here for what, three, three, four days. What? How long I had this thing here? What's uh, that? I don't remember. <laughs> I think it, what did I get? A Saturday? Saturday? Monday? Monday. Yeah. Came yeah, Monday, I think. So, so yeah, it sat here for for a few days, and now I'm 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 Jones. Look at that sticker he put on there too. Another one. That is so cool looking. Yeah, well, yeah. After I take my shower tonight and use my pine tar, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna start using the grams tonight. Oh, you're gonna start using it too? I know. I, I know. A while ago, I said yes uh, tomorrow, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna start tonight. Nice. Bubba, what are you doing? Hey, get out of there. If you break that, that is going to break your butt. <laughs> no, he goes in the bottom and he pulls on the bottom grate. Uh -huh. And his beak is so powerful, he can, he can break the thing. Yeah. You know, he's broken them before. And they're not cheap. Come on, boo, out. Let's go. Get out of there. Get out of there. Out. Let's go. I'm not, out. You, you said, uh... Out. Daniel, yeah, I know you got that last one going on tonight. Yeah, you should, uh, you know, uh, I, I, actually, I signed up for TikTok and I saw this one guy, he has a monkey for a pet and he's always putting videos for his monkey. You, you should, you should do that for, uh, for your parrot. Wait, say this again. So I, 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 I signed up for TikTok and I, f I found this guy that he has a, a monkey for a pet and he's always posting these, uh, little videos of his monkey. Mm hmm. And uh, so I said, you, you should do that with your parrot. Th th do like little videos of your parrot. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should. <laughs> but I see the guy. I see it all the time. This is one I'm on uh, on Facebook. I'm on as uh, I forgot the uh, the name of it, but uh, he's got this beautiful white bird, and his name is Barney, and, and he's so cute, and he. Has all these toy cars and balls, and he picks it up with his beak and he throws it and he chases after it, grabs it with his beak again and throws it. <laughs> it's funny. Such a cute little bird, man. Smart too. Talks, makes ringing noises like a phone, and hello. And I mean, this bird can talk. Like, I mean, stuff I guess he's heard on TV. Like, you know, it'll say, like, you know, Oh yeah, answer the phone and you know whatever, whatever he, he's saying. He's just really uh, good at speaking. I mean, I, my Georgie can't talk that good. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Bearded Boost has the uh, live stream. I think uh, it's gonna be him, Daniel, and uh, I can't remember who else is gonna be on there. Uh oh, uh, what's Jay Cruz doing? What did you say? No. Oh uh, yeah, I was, I was just talking about the TikTok, Daniel. I signed up for TikTok. And I found this guy that had a pet monkey, you know, doing little videos of his pet monkey. They're pretty, pretty, pretty cute looking. But anyway, I was telling Ron he should do that, you know, sign for TikTok and do little videos of his parrot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should probably, huh? I just seen uh, Jester put up a put up a funny ass TikTok video, man. You see this guy sitting there and he's getting a a friggin' uh, stick on toupee thing put on the front of his head. Cause he's got a receded hairline <laughs> and it sticks it on her <laughs> and Jester's looking and goes and picks up the phone and he's like, 1-800 toupee. I need <laughs> one of those two stick on toupees. <laughs> it was yeah. fucking funny video, man. Yeah. Hey, hey Michael. Yeah. So the bearded beast live stream tonight is going to be with Daniel, uh, Twitch, Dave, Hmm. And they might oh, yeah, uh, Banshee, I think. No, is Banshee gonna be on there too, or did he donate to it? No, he's gonna I, be on the other guy's I, stream. I, okay. yeah, I think he, he donated some stuff. Yeah, there's several companies that donate some products, I think. 
Yeah, there's a few. There's so many uh, streams coming up. Daniel's is coming up. Uh, I think Tales from the Beard has his uh, one coming up too, don't he? No, Boost. Bearded Boost. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. His, his, his Bearded Boost is tonight. Is it? Yeah. And what, Daniel's is what? Uh, is it tonight no. or tomorrow? Daniel's is tonight, ain't it? Now I'm confused. No, Daniel, Daniel's on Thursday. Yeah. What's today? Scroll back. Scroll back. Uh, Daniel's, Daniel, Daniel said when it was. So you scroll back up. This thing. God, I get so confused. My memory's so bad. Where is it? Um, yeah, it's live at seven. Huh? It's a, a bitter beast. It's live at seven. That's that's Daniel's time. I think Daniel's time is Eastern time, so that's that'd be six p.m. my time. Okay. Yeah, remember, remember, remember when you put times out there? You always gotta say what what time zone. People, some people know we all we all live in different time zones. Ah, uh, so eight, so uh, eight. boost is uh, at, at seven. Well, so no, he, he, uh, Daniel just says eight p.m. Eastern. So so that, so that is seven my time. Oh, seven your time. Yeah, eight eight your time. Okay, and da when is Daniel's tomorrow at at uh, nine or ten? Nine or ten tomorrow, right? Yeah, he, he goes pretty late sometimes. He, I'm in bed by the. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't do that. Last night I, I took a nap yesterday, so I happened to be up when Mick was on last night. Oh yeah, the his were super late. I, there's no way I can make that, especially especially this month. I've, I've been getting up, getting up a lot earlier now because of uh, December and being really busy. It's time at work. I've been getting up a lot earlier, and so I got I go to bed earlier nowadays. Yeah. At, least, at least for December. I don't blame you. <laughs> don't blame. Yeah, mine is at 8 p.m. Eastern. He says. And that's right. Thursdays, right, Daniel? And boost, he says, boost at seven. Boost at seven. Mine at eight Eastern oh. tonight. Oh, his is oh, tonight. Yeah. Mine is eight p.m. Eastern tonight. Okay. See, I, I'm, I'm, this, this gets so confusing after a while with all these. It does, so there. many people. I can't keep track of it anymore. <laughs> I just rely, I rely, honestly, I rely on the notifications. So that's why I get so mad when I don't get one. Right. You know, and when I don't get one, it screws me all up because I wind up missing something because I didn't, wasn't notified of it. And yeah, there's just so many channels coming out now too. Uh, Kyle, like I said, is going to be coming out with a channel. Uh, what you call it from uh Bearded American Beard Club is coming out with one. I think it's a few other guys too just started one or just starting one. Yeah. So many, so many. Oh my goodness. I know. And uh what you call it? Yeah, I thought I thought uh Everett was uh gonna step down, he said, but then I seen yesterday he's dropping yeah. his first review tomorrow too. So yeah. So Everett's uh, back in, I guess. Yeah, change his mind. I thought he was leaving the community because I know the last time I talked to him, he was uh, kind of upset about something or other. And uh, I don't remember what it was, but he was like really close to leaving because of the drama stuff. And st he, I guess he just had enough, you know, and he's like, I'm leaving and I don't know when I'm coming back. And I was like, whoa, but then he never left. So I thought he was going to leave when he put that up, that he was stepping down and all that. I really thought he was out of here. I really did. I know the, the I know the the way he said it. I thought I, I thought the same thing. Yeah, I thought he was so. gone. I thought with the new baby and and gonna have you know he said he's gotta gonna be getting working soon again, and with the new baby he just don't have time for it. And I thought he was out of here. I really thought he was out of here. Then I when I seen this dropping the new dropping his review tomorrow, I was like, oh okay, I guess uh, whatever he was upset about it passed or, you know whatever happened, you know it's okay now. Yeah. I'm glad he's not leaving, though. I'm glad he's sticking around, man. You know, he's a good guy. He likes this community a lot. He's a big supporter of everyone. And uh, people seem to like him. So I'm glad to see him get getting some uh, getting some attention finally, you know, because he was in the background for a long time. I remember he says, you know, no one's ever asked me to be on their stream or participate in anything. And, you know, this is going back a couple, couple weeks back. You know, before he was on and before he was even on Neil's stream for the first time, you know, he was saying no one ever asked me. You know, and, and finally, when Neil did, I was like, oh, dude, look, someone asked you, you know, 
So well, you know, you know. Besides you, Ron, only only one other person has ever asked me to be on their stream, and that, and that was Maverick. Right. Well, you know what? You're getting invos, invites now, man. I know. And it, like uh, when we was on uh, uh, shoot, Beast Buns, Beast Buns. Remember Beast Buns said that he might have might have me on. If, then uh, then Chris said yeah. he'll he'll have, he'll have yeah. me on next year. Here, yeah. Chris said he's going to have me back on too next year. And I believe Joe said too he would have me back on again in the new year. So that was cool. That's cool, though, man. I love I love going on, on, on you know, people's channels with them. I think it's an honor. I really do. I, I'm I, flattered that anyone would want me. <laughs> you know? I know. <laughs> and speak about people on live, you know, like Joshua Rick, you know, when you at least he's starting to talk now in our lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, Rick's has got such bad damn internet. I don't know what's up with it. He should use his phone, though. I know. Cause, yeah, when he's on his phone, it worked much better on his phone. Yeah, because on your channel that night when he came in, you know, he was talking and doing fine. And he didn't get, he did get kicked off, didn't he, at the end there or his battery yeah. died or something. I don't know which it was. But you know, while it, while it was uh, he was on and going, he was going and talking. So, right. But I've seen him over on uh, uh, what you call it, Breezy's uh, Friday Night Shit Show, and you know he's he's on, he comes on and he freezes and he just sits there, you know, and then it, you know, even when it's not frozen, you think he's just frozen. He's just, <laughs> right, right. And you're like, is he frozen? <laughs> oh, wait, he blinked. <laughs> he's not frozen, <laughs> you know. And you don't say nothing. You're like, what the fuck, dude? Talk. Come on. We know you can talk. And then I know. Uh, he, he'd be great. You know, one of those people that, that try to uh, be like a statue in, in like an park or something, like a like a real life statue. He'd be, yeah, he'd be great yeah, at that. Yeah, yeah he would. <laughs> they get beach bums are only ones that have asked me to be on their lives. Well, you know, you're always welcome here, Daniel, but I, I don't think anybody would want to be on mine yet, you know? Like, I don't really have a show or a steady, you know, schedule or anything yet. I'm just trying to feel this thing out as it goes, you know? I mean, uh, you know, I was thought I thought me and Dagan were going to do a weekly show, but then he got wrangled into working so many hours that, you know, he can't do it right now, so... Well, but yeah, at, at, the, at, the, at the end of the year, then we'll be back back to normal. Okay. Well, then maybe after the end of the year, when we're when uh, Dagan doesn't have to work o overtime and have to be be uh, up at, at five thirty in the morning or get called into work at three a.m. <laughs> I don't know that that was crazy. <laughs> you know, he can uh, we can do do my show then. So okay. hey, hey, Josh. Hey, hey I, I, let me let me tell everybody about that. <laughs> Yeah, the, the other day I got called from our alarm company at two fourteen in the morning, so I get a rude awakening at the wee hours of the morning. So I have to run into my store just to find out the cops have got the, the got the building surrounded. Crazy. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so they they had me go in there and turn the alarms off so they can have lights. Hi, boo. Of course, of course. As soon as, as, soon as I go to the door to unlock the door, he had, you know he has his gun out drawn and goes in the door before me and. Blah blah blah. So I turn on lights, come back out, then they go in the building, search the search the building. They they didn't find anybody because they they also uh, exited the building before the cops got there. But what happened was that they busted out one of the doors, the glass doors, came in, busted up two of the uh, jewelry case lines, and and took pretty much took most of the jewelry out of the case line and, and took off. Yeah, and if they catch them now, they'll just go bad. You can go free. And well, don't worry about paying it back. The company will eat the loss. Well, that's a, well, that's a felony. Well, they, yeah, but nowadays they don't care, man. They don't care anymore. They get people. People say, "Well, it ain't my fault. I had a bad childhood," and they say, "Okay, well, we'll let you off the hook." Well, you know, I think I think that all depends on the the the, the, the police department and where, where where they are. I mean, where where I'm at, the police department is actually pretty good. Well, you know, I'm exaggerating, but obviously, but you know what I mean, man. Yeah. Nowadays, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, even when the riots are ripping these cities apart, and the mayors are out there, and the governors are out there cheering them on, helping them, instead of uh, sending in the police to arrest them. 
when they're stealing and destroying the entire city. You know, it's mind boggling. It's absolutely mind boggling to me. Yeah. But uh, yeah, what, what can you do? You know? So yeah, I want to kind of have this. Uh, what do I do for work? Uh, what was on? Well, I'm a, I'm, I was a welder by trade, but I'm on, I'm on disability now, Vato. I have a bad RA. I have a bad hip. And I have a bad back and I'm pretty banged up. So not to mention my, uh, you know, uh, depression and anxiety too on top of that. So yeah, I'm a mess, man. I'm a pretty screwed up, screwed, screwed up guy. No, but I bet, I bet to do these live streams may be helping that anxiety, right? No, I'm a big believer, Josh, in second chances, man. I really am. But, uh, I don't, I'm not a big believer in, uh, you know, uh, blaming people, other people and, and things for your actions. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? If you, you choose to do something, then that's on you. It's not mommy's fault. It's not daddy's fault. It's not who raised your fault. You know, you're a grown human being. And if you choose to go rob a fucking bank, you should pay for that crime because you chose to do it. Doesn't matter that you had a bad childhood. I had a fucked up childhood. I was in and out of shitty foster homes where I was abused and neglected. And you know what? I, I don't go out and do that shit and, and say, oh, well, it was because I was raised like this. You know, it's yeah. bullshit, man. I'm big on second chances. Everyone I think deserves a second chance. I really do. But I also think you should earn that second chance. It shouldn't just be handed to you. Right. Because you know what? A lot of people are given a second chance and they piss it the fuck away. You know, show me that you, you deserve another chance and then I'll give you another chance. You know, that's my mentality on it. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe it's wrong. I don't know to some people, but that's just the way I think about it. No, I, I, I agree there, Ron. No, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Appreciate that too, Josh. You know, I mean, I guess it's not just that I, I, I don't, it's not that I don't have faith in the system. I mean, I know the system works sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't. So my father had RA for 40, 40 years. My wife was diagnosed it was about four years ago. I'm sorry, Josh, man. It's horrible. Rheumatoid arthritis is absolutely horrible. You know, for those that don't know, I mean, I think the honestly between the joint pain and stiffness, as bad as it is, the fatigue that you get from having this is the absolute worst, man. Because I'm not a lazy person, but I am tired and exhausted all the time. Every day I every day I get off this bed is a struggle, man. I just want to lay in it all day. Some days I do because I can't get the hell up. The fatigue is just crippling. It absolutely is crippling. Hey, what's up, Otto? Thanks, man. Appreciate that. But the yeah, the fatigue, man. I I thought it was only me, you know. Like I thought somehow I had a had a you know like a like you know uh, what do they call that now? Like uh, like fatigue syndrome or something, right? I thought I had that for the longest time, you know. And then when I was diagnosed with the RA, I started going into these RA chats on Facebook. And every friggin' comment I'm reading about people saying, you know, what's wrong with them and what, what what helped and stuff, everyone had the same friggin' complaint. The fatigue was horrible. They couldn't take the fatigue. My dad had four boys, and we hunted and fished and all sorts of shit. He fought that fucker pretty hard. You, yeah, you, I believe it. You have to fight it hard. That's the only way. That's the only way to go at it. I mean, there's no cure. To, the treatments at best, you know, are, are uh, you know, the, the newest treatments at best cripple you too, man. I know they were giving me that, uh, I forgot the name of that shit, some kind of cancer drug that they were giving me a pill. And it, I don't, I don't know why, but I had the worst headaches from it. The back of my head felt like someone smashed it in with a crowbar. All That's how the, that's the, how the pain felt all the time taking that pill. And I couldn't breathe. I, I couldn't breathe and I couldn't walk. I mean, I, I remember when I was taking that after a few weeks, I came walking out of my room to go get a drink in the kitchen. And, and I, I'm using, I was using a cane at the time. 
And my mother looks at me. She goes, what the hell is wrong with you? And I'm like, what? She's like, you're walking like an old man. I said, Ma, this medicine is kicking my ass. It was uh, some kind of treatment they used for uh, for the RA. I can't remember the name of it, but when I would go to the doctor, I complain and tell him I got bad headache. It's killing me. I said, this medicine is not working. It's not, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Just keep taking it. It'll get better. You know, and it wouldn't listen to me. So after a few months, I said, I went in there and I said, listen, doc, this is not working. You need to do something. I said, you know, you keep ignoring me when I'm telling you I have bad headaches and, you know, and the whole nine. And, you know, he finally took me off of it. But, uh, yeah, it just wasn't working. So then they give you got these shots they give you too, but it attacks your immune system. So they kind of knock me out too, man. It's like which is better, the, the 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 RA or the or the treatment, the supposed treatment, you know, because it ain't a cure. It's just they're trying to treat it, I guess, you know. Well, yeah, and, just, yeah just like Fonto said, sometimes the uh, su supposedly cure effects are worse than the actual problem. Exactly, Vado. That's the thing, and that's where I'm at with it. I've been taking the. Uh, I take right now. I'm only taking the Celebrex, and I take a. I take a steroid pill that i can take up to four times a day but i know it's really bad for you so i try to take as little of it as i can get by with during the day but when i if i don't take it though most of the days i can't even get off the bed if i don't take it i'm so stiff and i hurt so bad so i i you know i try to take as little as i can get away with if i get to get away with one pill i take one if i can get away to half a pill i take a half a pill yeah, and I, I want to expand on what uh, Joshua said about you know all natural. My my yeah. mom my mom was taking some medication for a really long time, and it actually over time uh, decreased her function of her kidneys, and she has to go through dialysis now like three times a week. But now, but she's actually taking a all natural version of, of stuff, so and she's doing okay on it. So nice. Sometimes, sometimes all natural is the way to go too. Yeah, I'm trying. That's what I'm trying now. I want. I'm looking into different CBD stuff, too, because I'm thinking that'll, uh, you know, I'll probably help with the pain. You know, the, the pain aspect at the very least. And I've heard too many people say that uh, natural is the way to go. Yeah, I've heard turmeric and collagen is good too. But you know what it is, Josh? For me, being on disability, they kind of give you just enough money to fucking barely live on. So I. Trying to have extra money for anything is just almost damn near impossible. You know, if I if I want A and B, I have to go without C and D. You know what I'm saying? So I have to juggle shit. Like right now, last night I bought the uh, Copper Johns thing because I really wanted to help 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 uh, Josh. You know, Beardnomics, and uh, the only reason I was able to basically was because it's winter time. And right now here, the weather is such that I'm not using heat and I'm not really using a lot of air either. So my electric bill, instead of being the normal 120 bucks a month, it is was like 30 bucks or something. So, you know what I mean? So I had a few dollars that I don't normally have. Yeah. Uh, hey, Rodney, thanks for stopping in. Yeah, it's more expensive too. Yeah, and being in disability, I you know, unfortunately, M Medicaid and Medicare will cover fucking prescription shit, but they won't cover anything natural. Yeah, that's crazy because natural is, is so much that. better. Yeah, they should be able. To, you should be able to say, you know what? I don't want to use this money for fucking garbage. It's going to kill me and hurt me. I want to use it for something that's going to actually help me and not hurt me. You should be able to use that money the way you want to, not be forced to take their fucking scar. Excuse my language, but their so-called treatments—they're not cures. They're not—they don't fix you. They want to treat. They don't want to treat a disease over your entire life because they can make a fortune on it. They don't want to cure you. Yeah, it's 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 about the money, right? Yeah, they don't want to make you better. They just want to maintain somehow. Yeah. 
That's how I see it. No, I was raising my family on disability for a long time. Yeah. They give you basically just enough to, you know, survive and, but no extras. You don't get no extras. You get enough to pay your rent. You get enough to pay your, your, you know, if you're lucky, if you're lucky and you manage your money decently, you know, you, you, you have enough that you can uh, pay the shit you need to. And that's it. That's it. If you want extras, you, like I said, you gotta go, you gotta go out without something to get something else. And it's, you know, many times I've eaten, eaten uh, buttered noodles for dinner, you know, for, for, for weeks at a time because uh, I wanted something and, you know, that's what I had to do to get it. I like buttered noodles, thankfully. <laughs> but, uh, I eat a lot of, you know, uh, ma- ma- uh, hamburger helper too. That's Man, not. I love, I love hamburger helper. Yeah, I like it too. I, I remember Ken was saying the other night. He, he hates it. I'm like, how can you hate hamburger helper, man? Well, Come you, on. You got you got add extra stuff, extra stuff too. Like cheese. add extra cheese. You know, yeah, real right. cheese. My mother used to doctor yeah. it up like that. She would add extra noodles to it. She'd add extra cheese to it, and then she put a little bit of sauce in there too. And you know it, it tasted good that way. Yeah, you got add a, add a few peas and whatever in there too. <laughs> add a few what? Peas. We got peas. 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 Yeah. Oh, I don't like peas, man. Uh-huh. No, I like peas. I, I mean, I'll do baby peas with with pearl onions. Those I'll do, but I'm not a big pea guy. Uh-huh. You know, I'm not big on peas. I like corn. I like broccoli. But, you know, I don't know why we eat corn. You know, it tastes good, but, you know, our body doesn't process it. You, you shit it right back up. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's the taste, you know, the corn on the cob with the butter. It tastes yeah, good. Yeah, tastes good. <laughs> Some of it does get broken up, though, when you crunch yeah. it and break it. If you, yeah. don't break into the, if you don't break into the kernel, it stays whole, comes out that way. But if you do bite it in into it, you'll your acid in the stomach will take out the good shit out of it, I guess. The stroganoff and the tuna mac. I like the cheeseburger one. Not the double or triple cheeseburger one. The original regular cheeseburger one. That's the one I like. Uh, hey, hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? I want to do what uh, kind of like uh, Ryan and uh, at some point, you know, like Ryan and Mick, Mick do. What's you that? know, have whoever wants to come on, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love that idea. I really love that idea. Yeah. I I was actually thinking about doing, doing that on uh, my next live stream where I have, you know, just the community guys in there. Yeah. Hey, Chris, I did a, a, a unboxing, man, with uh, I got some weather beard in. Smoked uh, cherry wood. I got the oil in the whip. Also oh. got a, a beard wash. And it's uh, citrus mint beard wash, weather beard too. Vado won that on uh, Dave's channel and paid it forward to me. Thank you again, Vado. And I also got in some uh, grams, bur- burberry, two ounce uh, oil and a four ounce, four ounce butter. So you know. That's a great scent by Weatherbeard. Love smoked cherry wood. Nice, man. It smells nice, what I can smell. I don't know why my nose wasn't uh, cooperating today. I did smell the cherry, but not much else. <laughs> and I, I believe Corey said it wasn't cherry heavy. He said it was more like the, uh, like, a, I don't know what is it, like a smoked tobacco, I think he said in it. It was more like a pipe tobacco-ish type thing, he said. If I'm remembering right, it was quite a while ago he was talking about it on one of his lives. And Dagan got, uh, what do you got, Dagan? Oh, you don't have nothing, right? Yeah, I didn't have nothing. You just won, won some stuff last night. Yeah, I just talked about the stuff I won last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you want to tell the guys that came in uh, that don't know? Sure. I have to <laughs> bring that back up again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got to bring it back up. Sorry, man. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's all right. Have it right there, ready to go. 
<laughs> yeah. So what I won, I won, I won three, three of them. And the first one uh, was a, was from three different companies on the first one. And that was a Turnbull uh, for uh, oil, butter, bomb, and a hat and long Island for two, two oils and a combo from beard outlaw. The second winning was from bearded pup oil and bomb and the third one was bearded coast with the all butter combo and a comb. You were fine, Ryan. I was there for that. You were fine, man. I don't think too on your phone. I, I don't think you can see the chat and see. Yeah, on, on your phone, you can't see the video and chat at the same time. It's either one or the other. You either see the video or you see the chat. Yeah, you kind of like need a separate device or something. But you know, if you if you if you have the your phone on a tripod or something fixed, it's always on you. You can have it on the chat, and uh, oh yeah, or or have a second device. Yeah, I like the second device idea. I think yeah, I think it's a lot better that way because mm -hmm. you, you use your phone that you're on the video with, and have your or and you have your second device for the to see the chat. Yeah, what about uh, Tommy last night? Wow. Yeah, he he was bidding pretty good. Yeah, Tommy was bidding on everything, man. It was awesome. Wow. And had a few people snipe out. Huh? And had a few people snipe out, snipe out the bids. Yeah. Like yeah. Been, been in the very last second, put a bid in. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I did. That's how I won Copper John's one, man. Yeah. Tommy, I think bid like one thirty-five. So I'm waiting, I'm watching it ticking down, I'm watching, I'm watching, and I said, boom, 140. And I knew it was going to run out, you know, right, right away after I hit it, and it did. So I got it. I was so happy I got that one. I was so glad. Hey, uh, Ryan G., you said you're going to use a computer next time and use a phone for the chat. Uh, unless you have a really good uh, camera on your laptop, your phone will probably have the better camera. Hey, guys, if you might I want to that. If you aren't uh, subscribed to Chris here in the chat, go 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 subscribe to him. Is uh, T T C T? Uh, what is it? That, that company be that company be to, that company to be named later. <laughs> in, in initials is his channel. Go check it out and go subscribe to him. He's a great guy. He makes great content, and he's uh, not just beard stuff. He does uh, knives and does vlogs really amazing content you guys go check him out and, and subscribe to his channel i really i really enjoy his stuff i think you guys will too if you're not that is what i did that is what i did that is what i did dig in my daughter's chromebook on my phone oh there you go yep ah yeah sorry i had to go let the dog out real quick with dogs <laughs> I wonder if I can let Georgie out real quick. <laughs> no, he'd take off on me and not come back. <laughs> so what else you got going on this week, Digging? Anything? Well, it's almost over, ain't it? Today's uh, Wednesday? Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, I'll see my, my one day off today. So <laughs> tomorrow, back to work for this week. Mm -hmm. and, uh, of course, we got Christmas up next week. Yeah, already, right? Oh my goodness! I know. So, so just just remember out there, y'all, that y'all that celebrate Christmas also celebrate celebrate my birthday. So, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Your birthday's on Christmas. Christmas baby. <laughs> well, uh, Ryan G, I have uh, actually three dogs, and they're all Chihuahua mixes. Do you have three dogs? Yep. I thought you had two. I got three. You, you see, I, you you seen two of them, but I I haven't showed them. Mm -hmm. That's why I thought you had two. I never seen the third one. Yeah. So, it's, hiding it's, out on hiding 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 out one on me, huh? Well, yeah. Well, he he's he's really old. He's he pretty much just sleeps all day. He's he's like mostly oh. blind. Oh. You know, pretty much death. Oh, is that the one you took the picture of, right? Nah. The little black one? Well, I got two black ones. Whoa. 
I know you took a picture, I think, of one, and you were telling me about, uh, you know, I think it's the one you said was almost blind. Yeah, well, yeah, he's pretty much blind. He, he can only, like, see many, like, shadows, but, yeah. Oh. Uh, all absolutely spoiled. Yeah, we spoil our animals, don't we? I know. We let me let me, uh, let me go bring him back in real quick. Be right back. I know. I spoil. I spoil him, man. He gets it. He gets. He gets better than I do. I mean, I, I know when I ever I eat something, I make him up a little plate for him. And uh, I know if there's uh, something I have, I'd rather go without for me and give it to him. You know, like I give him stuff before I give it to myself just because uh, cause he brings me so much joy. One of mine is deaf, but responds to sign language. That's amazing, dude. Oh, my God. That's amazing. You should record that, Ryan, and put it like on uh, send it into one of those pet shows or something. That's freaking amazing. Dude, I don't think I've ever heard of an animal like, uh, I mean, you know, monkeys and, and gorillas, I think, and chimps, like, respond to sign language. But other than them, I don't think I've ever heard of an animal doing that. That's pretty awesome. His, his, uh, one of his uh, dogs is deaf, but he responds to sign language. Well, that's, pretty, that's pretty neat. Isn't that amazing? Oh, my God. He should send that, record that and send that into a show, man. He probably yeah. won like one of the prizes or something, man. With that, I mean, animals can be pretty smart, but you know, my my dog's pretty blind too, so he he gonna be able to see, he wouldn't be able to see it anyway. <laughs> I seen a, a video where the uh, on Facebook the other day that uh, girl was uh, walking up to home, to the to the to like the barn there, and the animal she had raised, the donkey she had raised was over in the back there. And I guess it hadn't seen her in a long time. So the minute she said, oh, hi, and the donkey was like, hey, <laughs> went nuts, you know, and ran over. I mean, you could see that the donkey was like actually like hugging her and like pressing on her and, you know, like moaning and groaning. And you could see that this animal loved her to death. Yeah. I mean, the people that say that animals don't have emotions and don't have feelings, I, I challenge you to go watch that video of this girl with her her donkey that she raised. All right, let me, let me go right back. He wasn't ready while I got by here. I'm barking now, so I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, Billy, what's up, brother? Prayers, please. Found out this morning and a few minutes ago, my 16-year-old niece, 10-year-old cousin, and aunt have all have COVID. Oh, my goodness. Christmas is postponed. Niece had strep on top of it. Absolutely, Billy. Definitely will pray for pray for them, man. I'm sorry to hear that, brother. Huh? Oh, yeah. Sorry yeah. about that. All yeah, right. and ho ho hope, hope they all get through it uh, safely and quickly. All right, so here, here, here's my uh, my eldest. Oh, yeah, that's the one, the tongue hanging out. Yep. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, that's it. You took. I think you were talking about about him, and I said, "Oh, well, take a picture and show me." And you, you know, because I didn't see him, and you sent me a picture, or you posted a picture, or something. So sorry to hear that, brother. Wishing them all a speedy recovery. Absolutely. Oh. Yeah, so who's ready for Christmas? You guys ready for Christmas? I am. Well, that was evil, Ryan. We named him evil. Because we, we, we actually found him. We actually leave the house. The dog evil? <laughs> yeah, we actually found him. That's <laughs> Great name. I love that, dude. <laughs> well, let me, let me let me tell you why. Because we uh we actually leave the house one day and we found him across the street, you know, on, in the street. And uh we put up signs around the neighborhood saying you no know, for lost dog, but nobody ever claimed him, so we so we kept him. But anyway, he had a, he had this little tooth that stuck out, a little snaggle tooth, and he looked so we just kind of looked evil, you know. So <laughs> we named him evil, but 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 since then we had to uh, we took him to the vet and they had to extract his teeth. So, 
Mm. That, that's why his, his tongue hangs out now. Oh, I didn't know that. That's why, huh? It, it have, he has what they call the uh, a rubber jaw. Mm. I remember you saying something about that rubber jaw. I don't know what that is exactly. I'm not too sure either, but... Mm. I'll have to look it up. Yeah, thank God, Josh. You're right. 99% chance of survival. Threw me off my game, found out right before weapons qualifications about niche. Needless to say, I didn't wow. make it. Try again on 28th. You know what? That's understandable, Billy. Yeah. And I'm, sure, I'm sure that they uh, they understand too, man. You know, that's enough. To, that's That kind of news is enough to shake anybody, man. So, you know what? Let's just hope they uh, do understand it and that you'll get them next time, brother. Yeah, yeah, Ryan G. Our pets, they definitely have their own personalities. You know, the, the other two, I got one. She's really outgoing and she, she barks at everybody that she hasn't seen before. Then the other one, mm -hmm. she, she's a little more skittish, but she, she loves everybody she meets. So nice. Yeah, animals sure do have different personalities, man. They really do. It's ironic sometimes. <laughs> so. Yeah. Oh, you guys all ready for Christmas or no? No? I know Billy's not, but hopefully uh, hopefully they all get through this quick and you guys can have an awesome Christmas. Yeah. When everyone's back on their feet and uh, through it. I'm not ready for Christmas yet, man. I I, I don't know. I haven't uh, really enjoyed Christmas in a long time. Like I, I go to my brothers usually for Christmas, and you know I look at it now. It's for the kids, you know. I like guess grandkids, you know. That's that's what Christmas is. It's for them, you know. It's an excuse, I guess, to hang out and get together. But you know, to me, Christmas is about Christ, you know, and. Uh, the world don't, uh, to the world, Christmas is about Santa Claus. So, you know, each to his own. I mean, I'm not downing nobody on it. I'm just saying, you know, to me that it's about Christ. And uh, other than that, though, it really has no meaning anymore to me. But to my parents, you know, my, my adopted parents, they, they lost their daughter. And when I first came to them, they celebrated Christmas for me, with me, from 13 to 16, I think. By the time I was 16, I kind of understood that they didn't like Christmas, that, you know, their daughter was gone and it was just another day to them. And I was like, you know what? You guys don't have to put on a big to-do for me anymore, you know? I mean, they still bought me whatever I wanted for Christmas, but, uh, you know, I said, if you just don't want to put up a tree anymore or anything, you know, don't do it on account of me. You know, I understand why you just don't want to do it. So, you know, that was the end of Christmas for, for, uh, for, it's, you know, 16 was, it was my last Christmas or 15 was, or I guess, I don't know. Right. Yeah. Cause you know, like Ryan said, well, first of all, you know, B Billy, yeah, he's, he's saying his channel started up. He put out a video today or I think it was today. Cause I, I watched it today at least. I watched it too, Billy. Good one. Nice, man. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I, you enjoyed it, too, because you sucked that, sucked that IPA down pretty quick, man. I know. <laughs> I have a suggestion, Shaky, but I'll DM you. Mean. But, um, yeah, like yeah, like Ryan was saying, uh, working in retail kind of sours the holidays. And he's definitely true about that. Cause, you know, obviously, I work in retail, too. And it's, you know, work, work more hours and more days and. It kind of sours it out for you sometimes. Well, people are people are really are. are you know what I hate is the shopping time. People are freaking savages, man. Uh, yeah. I mean, they will literally fucking run you down to save 50 bucks. You know, I mean, they will literally rip shit out of your hands and run you to fuck down just to get just to save 50 bucks. It's crazy. They'll stop on you and run right over you and not care. Yep. I don't understand that. I don't understand that kind of shit, man. To me, it's you want it that bad, take it, man. I'll pay the fucking extra 50 for it if I want it that bad. Even though I don't have it, I'd still fucking rather just buy it online, pay the full price to not have to deal with that kind of shit. It's just not worth it to me, man. 
even when I was healthy and I could sock somebody for doing it, you know, <laughs> I, I still didn't want to deal with it back then either. I really didn't. I hated it. I used to get all my Christmas shopping done like months earlier. I mean, like September, because I didn't want to deal with these people at Christmas time. Well, yeah, and I'm glad I work in the back back of house side of retail because if if I worked on the on the floor, you know, dealing with customers, I I wouldn't be there. Yeah, I'd probably kill somebody. I probably yeah. would, man. I, I can't handle stupidity. I really can't, man. And none of those people that do that kind of shit are just about as stupid as it gets. Yeah. I mean, you're not, you know, you're not saving, uh, you're not saving a million dollars here, people. It's a few bucks, you know, get a life. For God's sake, you're going to hurt somebody over something, rip stuff out of people's hands. I don't understand that. I just don't. I know, it's just all crazy. It's, you know, it's like when the, this pandemic first started, you know, everybody started buying up all that toilet paper. Is that, that was just stupid. Yeah, you guys go subscribe to Billy too here, man. If you're not subscribed to Billy, Billy Rogers Beard Reviews. He's a great guy, man. He puts out some good stuff too when he when he puts it out. So he's putting it out again now. So hopefully uh, he'll, he'll keep going with it. I had an older fella try to fight me at work once over a sale sign. Yeah, I believe it. People are insane. They are absolutely insane when it comes to saving even a dollar. It's just crazy, man. Right. You know, I mean, we, you would think it, it's Christmas time, you know, and love your fellow man and, and, and you, know, uh, you know, holiday cheer and spirit and all that stuff. And, but no, man, these people will run you to hell down if it means they can get two TVs for, for, for you know, 100 rather than 250. Right. Hey, Edward, thanks for coming in. Yep, what's up, Edward? How you doing, man? I work in home insurance claims, and I see people do some wild stuff to try and get money. Oh, I believe it, Walt. I believe it, man. Well, yeah, like Ryan G just posted there, said last year someone stabbed over bath towels at his local Walmart. Shh. Crazy, right? I know. Who the hell would stab someone over over bath towels? But people do it. People are absolutely insane, man. I, you want them that bad? Go ahead, man. Here, have them. You know, that's my attitude about it. You need it and want it that bad, then go ahead. I'll go buy them somewhere else for for full price. Because I, I just I can't, man. I can't I can't deal with that. I just I don't want to deal with it. You know? Yeah. People are, go out of their minds. I'll drop two or three a week. Gives me something positive to do. Good way to look at it, Billy. I enjoy doing reviews too, man. I just don't enjoy the part where I have to keep recording because, I, you know, the phone rings or Georgie squawks. Well, that the phone I'll redo it for, but him now I just leave in there because there's nothing I can do. If he squawks, he squawks. I, I can't make him not do it, you know. I feel terrible, do you know, putting it out there, and everyone has to listen to him hollering for me in the background. But what can you do? You know, he's a, he's an animal. It's like if, having a dog too. If your dog barks, you can't you can't really do nothing about it. Yeah, and, and it, I guess I could go edit it out if I want, but nah, nah, it's just too much. To, uh, and editing's uh, hard enough for me as it is. Yeah, and it, like like I said in uh, my comment to your uh, shake on your video yeah just you know keeping those videos out you know keep your mind off other things what guy jumped off his friend's balcony to try and get some money claimed he fell the neighbor had a security camera and you could see he did it on purpose wow yeah. and people i tell you will do anything nowadays to get money they really will oh yeah yeah i remember when i was a kid man you know uh they had uh, on the news these stories where people were fucking killing people for those bomber jackets. And it just blew my mind. You're going to take a life for a fucking coat? That just, it did, my mind, it just couldn't register that, you know? A life, a fucking coat, you know? You want to kill somebody for a coat? 
that's just, yeah. I don't know, man. My, I don't understand that, man. My brain just can't, can't reconcile that. You know what I'm saying? I know. It's just, it's ridiculous. Or, or like a pair of sneakers, killing somebody for a pair of freaking sneakers. You know, it's sneakers. It's fucking shoes, man. I know. Kill, killing somebody for anything is just, it's just. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. I don't unless, know. Unless, unless they're trying to kill, kill you. you. Even killing somebody for fucking a hundred grand insurance money. It's like, what the fuck, man? It's just money. Money don't make you happy. It really doesn't. And well, most of the time, the people that do that shit get caught, go to jail, and don't get none of the fucking money anyway. <laughs> no, my, money doesn't make you happier, but it does make things easier. It makes your life easier. It can, it can make your life easier if you know how to use it as a, the tool it is. You know, money is a tool, man. That's the way I see it. It's not, you know, I don't know. You need money to buy food. You need money to pay for your electric because you need electric to, you know, do shit. But money's a tool to me. That's all it is. Yeah, speaking of electricity, you know, I, I, I got solar panels about a year ago. Nice. So, and I haven't paid for electric bills since I got my solar panels. That's awesome. But you know, I, I have to pay for the solar panels. Oh, but, of course. But but the but the bill for my solar panels is less than than my average bill of electricity. So I'm still saving money. That's awesome. How long is is your payments for that panels? Well, it's scheduled for 20 years. <laughs> oh, is it? But 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 even still, like I said, you know, electricity rates will go up throughout those years, and, and but my mm -hmm. payment for the panels are constant. So and you're you're locked in, right? No, that, I, I'm, right? Still, I'm saving money regardless. Yeah, it's awesome. And hopefully in 20 years you'll still be around and you won't have to pay anything. Yeah. Paid off. So that's definitely cool. What the heck did I put in today? My beard. I forgot. Are you still thinking oh, about I put in uh taproot. Taproot uh -huh. hanyaker. I'm wearing hanyaker today. Love that taproot, man. Oh, good stuff. Hanyaker, too. Good stuff. Yeah, you look like Beardy Vada just said. Wait a second. I missed this one here. Yeah, it's... Where'd that go? Next one. Yeah, it's nuts, Ron. If you need something to keep warm, there are resources out there to help. Oops. Right, there you go. A lot of street vendors or corn and man get killed and robbed for a few bucks when all they are doing is trying to earn an honest living. Yeah, it's fucking terrible, isn't it? And and most of the time they're trying to get this few bucks for what? Fucking pills or drug? Yep. You know what? I mean, I, I'm not I'm not off I'm not for giving drugs out to people, but if it's gonna stop shit like someone getting murdered so that they can get drug money then just give it to the fucking people, you know? Give them the fucking drugs, let them kill themselves with it. Because I'd rather them kill themselves with their drugs than someone innocent trying to make it innocent, you know, trying to make a living and trying to earn some money doing an honest day's work, get killed for that money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'd rather them give them their, all the drugs they want until they fucking kill themselves with it. At least they're doing it to themselves and not somebody else. You know what I mean? Yeah. You want to hurt somebody, then hurt yourself. But don't 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 hurt someone that has nothing to do with it. Exactly. You know, I, I've thought a lot about that stuff with the drugs and stuff, man. And, and you know, I, I used to always be against giving giving drug addicts their drugs. But as as more and more people get more and more violent and more and more desperate. You know, you see more people getting more people getting killed so they can get their fix. You know, and if that's going to be if it's just going to continue to do that, that, that trend is going to keep continuing. Then why the hell not just give it to them? So stop people from getting killed. You know, I mean, you know, give them the needles so they don't get disease and spread it and give them the drugs and, you know, controlled dose so they ain't going to overdose but yet they get their fix you know and at least they ain't going to be out there killing people for drug money yeah or just you know rehab too you know 
Yeah, but you know what? A lot of people don't want to don't want rehab. What yeah. do you do with them? You know? Yeah. You know, I mean, especially when they're younger, man. You think you're invincible. You think you're bulletproof. You know, oh, that ain't gonna happen to me. Shit. You know, everyone always thinks it'll never happen to me until it happens to you. But a lot of people don't want rehab, you know. Most people need to actually hit rock bottom before they're ready to stop. True rock bottom. Now, not being forced to not being forced into it by a judge, truly on their own, hitting rock bottom and saying, you know, I fucking had enough of this. I'm done. Right. So unless they've hit that hit that point, it's kind of pointless. Because they're just gonna keep doing what they were doing anyway. Or they'll just stay clean long enough to get through whatever program they have to get through. And then they're right back to the races again. So true. So true. Nature of the beast, man. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> much you can do about it. Nope. So. Damn. What's the matter? I know. It's like time's flying by. <laughs> Yeah, it's already two o'clock, huh? We've been here two hours. <laughs> yeah, we usually are, dude. We just start talking and just, uh, you know, lose track of the time. I know I do. Oh, I'm yeah. Tired. You look tired. You're yawning over there. You're tired. No, you know, sometimes it's, it's kind of funny. Like when I'm at work and I'm, I'm moving around, I'm fine. But then, then, I, then I have to go into a meeting or something. I sit down and it's like almost instantly I get like really tired. You know? Oh, I know what you mean, man. As long as you're going, you're okay. Yeah. You need to slow down, though. It all catches up to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm the same way, man. And that's their choice, too, Ron. Not like they've been forced. You're right. You're right. Yeah. It is yeah. their choice, man. But uh, I'm just, my, my thing is, is though, I'm tired of innocent people paying the price for their choices. You know what I mean? And it's like you, you look at it, which is the lesser of two evils, letting them get their fix and, and keeping people from being killed for, for their, for, you know, from killing them for their money or, or uh, you know, letting them keep going the way they're going. You know, which is the lesser of two evils? I, I don't know, man. You know, I mean, I'm all for rehab if they're, they're willing to do it, but most people will say they're willing to do it to get out of trouble, but don't mean it. Yeah, because they need to go and rehab. As soon as they're out, they're... They're right back to the yeah. race. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, it's like... I don't know. Most of the other shit is kind of pointless, too, man. The ones that... Are the, I'm, I'm saying for the, the... The ones that really want to do this shit, they're going to do it one way or another. So just give it to them so they ain't hurting people and stealing and robbing and everything else to get it. You know what I mean? Just give it to them. They're going to do it anyway. Why not just give it to them? Yeah. Maybe they'll get sick of it that, you know, maybe after a while they'll get sick of it and want to stop on their own, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I doubt it. I doubt it too, but hey, you know, at least they're only hurting themselves then. They're yeah. not hurting other people. That's true. I don't know. Maybe I look at it wrong, but you know what? It took me a long time to get to that decision, you know? To, to that to that stance like it didn't get over the, get there overnight i mean I, I was all about you know locking people up at first you know they don't want to stop throw them in jail no no in jail don't do shit either man they just get out and use again too hmm? yep. and and then they're more angry and more bitter and probably more apt to kill somebody <laughs> you know they especially if they've been victimized and while they were in prison yeah, and they probably they probably made more drug contacts too while they were in. <laughs> too, and learned how to be better criminals. Yeah, because <laughs> that's what you do in jail. You learn how to be a better criminal because you get tips and tricks from all the other criminals. Well, you know, <laughs> if, if if more jails were like that one uh, that one guy that that the one place that's run by that sheriff, where you know, people have to be intense and things like that, you know, make it a true hard type of living. And less, yeah, less people don't want to go there. Yeah, I agree. But it's, 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 you know, if people go to jail, it's, it's like it's like 
you know, free, free, free room and board, TV. Yep. Whatever. Yeah. Most people look at it like it's a time to, you know, put some weight back on, get cleaned up, eat good. And, you know, that's how they look at it. Mm -hmm. it. It's crazy. It's it's fucking mind boggling, man. The kids nowadays, my brother's uh, girlfriend's son, he honestly treats his prison time like a fucking badge of honor. You know, like, yeah, man, I went to prison, man, and I survived there. And I, uh, you know, I, I, he, I, he honestly acts like it's a good thing, like he got a good mark on his record for fucking doing that. Yeah. And, of course, where is he now? Back in fucking prison. Because of that very same mentality. Yep. But too stupid to understand that. And you can't explain it to him either because they just don't understand, you know. You tried to, but it's, you're just talking. You're fall, falling on deaf ears. Yep, so true. I don't understand it, man. I don't. I just don't understand any of it, dude. It's crazy to me. Now, prison's not good under any circumstances, man. It's not somewhere you want to be. It's not a badge of honor. It's not a fucking, uh, you know, uh, something to brag about. You know. I mean, he's got prison tattoos that he got when he was in prison. He shows them off like they're, like they're, you know, they were done by like the greatest tattoo artist in the world. You know, no, they were done fucking, the dude sitting on a fucking toilet with, with a needle poking you like this, you know, one at a time with stuff that ain't even real ink. Yeah. You know, I went to, I went to city jail one time. Did I tell you that? No, what'd you do? Well, it's, it's something stupid, really. <laughs> Usually it is. Yeah. Well, I didn't realize why I was getting arrested until after I got arrested. But um, first, first I got pulled over for speeding. Then the next thing I know, that they're, they're asking me to step up, step out of the truck, and they put handcuffs on me and arrested mm -hmm. me. Then I found out later it's because of a speed a speeding ticket I never paid for. <laughs> Oh, good lord! Yeah, I've had that happen. So, so, I, I was, so once I got to jail, I called my other half and he got the money to go and came and bailed me out a couple hours later. No, there you go. At least she got out a couple hours later. Yeah, they wouldn't even let me out, man. <laughs> they kept me overnight <laughs> until the fucking people in the office came in in the morning. Yeah, I didn't even have any bail. They're like, you can't get no bail. You got to see the judge. Well. Or, well, it check what you're saying when the girls come in. It was, was it, it wasn't really bail. It's it more like I had you know pay, paying for the ticket. So I had to pay for the ticket, and they let me go. Well, it wasn't for me. Well, I, I'm sure I would have had to pay the ticket too when I saw the judge. But with me, it was like, you know, you you, you got to see the judge. Well, they said if we'll check with the girls, and if you did pay the ticket, then we'll let you go. If you didn't, then you got to see the judge, and uh, you know. You'll have to pay it, I guess. But, but you know, the ticket was paid twice. Man. I think I told you that, right? Yeah. I, I got arrested. I sat in jail all night. And girls came in in the morning and said, yep, the ticket's been paid twice. And they actually reimbursed me for one of the payments. So how do you get locked up? And how do you get locked up and arrested for a ticket that's been paid twice? Not once, twice. <laughs> mind-boggling to me well same same thing happens you know people get arrested and put in jail all the time for for stuff they never did you know and you don't even get it you were hey we're sorry man we made a mistake uh, of course not <laughs> it's like well fuck you too bad <laughs> next time carry the receipt with you that's what they told me next time carry the receipt with you it's like to prove I, you paid I, it yeah, I shouldn't have to do that. You know? I, I know. As I said, I said, shouldn't have to. Your record should be fucking right that it was paid and marked down that it was paid and not put out a fucking warrant for someone's arrest that, you know, took care of their shit. Right. But that's what I was told. Carry it with you next time to prove that you paid it. Even with their fucking receipt, they probably would have arrested me anyway still. Yeah. They, had a they had a warrant. They weren't going to say, oh, well, we're going to ignore our warrant because you have a receipt. It's just a convenient thing they say at the moment, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, well, what are you going to do? All right, man. You want to end this? You look tired. Well, we're good, but yeah, I guess it'll be all right. 
Huh? Yeah, I guess we can do that. Yeah? Okay. All right, man. Well, I appreciate all you guys. Five are still here. It's amazing that people coming in and out, you know, the whole time here, you know, and I appreciate every one of you guys, man, more well, than you ever know. Yeah, let me let me let me say something real quick about people coming in and out. You know, the the when you when you uh when you leave a live stream, come back in. You know, leave a live stream, come back in. That all counts as views too, even even on live stream. So, if you want to help a content creator out, you know, just exit out, come back in, exit out, come back in. You know, a couple times during the live stream, that actually will bring up the views on, on for the live stream. I've heard that before, but I, nobody told me. You know, no one ever said like you know, try and remember to do that. You know. I'm going to try and do that now for people because uh, I, you know, wasn't told that. I know I was told it helps, but, you know, I just, I didn't put one and one together. Right. So I'm going to try and do that from now on. Thanks, Bado, man. Love and respect you too, brother. Yep. Absolutely. Great. Dude. Yeah. If you haven't seen my video about his, his scent, go, go check it out. Absolutely. Yep. Thanks, Walt, for coming in, man. Appreciate you too, brother. Yeah. Ryan, appreciate you, man. Wait a minute. I didn't see this one. Sorry. Why does he keep doing that? This one. I've lost friends to it, and they don't want help. There's only so much you can do. Yep. Yeah. You're right, brother. It's exactly right there, man. You can't do it for them. And if they don't want it, I'll... There ain't nothing you can do at all. Doesn't matter what you do. So, yep. Thanks, guys, right. again, man. Truly appreciate each and every one of you, man. You just completely humbled and blown away every time I do this. And you guys come in and hang out and put comments. And you have no idea, man, how blown away I am by that. It's just so, it makes you feel so good inside. You well, know, that's because that, that's you're such an awesome dude, Ron. Well, I don't know about all that, but, uh, you know, it's like I feel good because people give a shit, you know? Right. It's like I haven't seen seen that much for the last 20 years of people giving a shit, you know? When you're alone, you don't you don't see that a lot, you know? So it yeah. feels it feels good, man. Yeah. Thanks, again, guys. Yeah. So, yeah, thanks, everybody. Have a good, have a good evening. Jesus, man, if we don't see you again... Before Christmas, you guys have an amazing Christmas, man, and enjoy your families. Be safe, and, uh, you know, if you're drinking, don't drive, and I uh, love you guys, man. Truly do. Yep. Same here. Take care, guys. Take Thanks. Bye-bye.